for you. You're good. Unapologetic fool with some big things I can't afford. All these sandwich baggies on the floor. You can tell I want more. We want that paper like copiers. And that's only bitches with confidence. Red and green like phosphorus. Get fresh and stuff for the coroner. Trip on the game, we go corner, yeah. Surrounded by red like my corner, yeah. You niggas so corny, some commoners. You cook on my sauce and it's obvious. Yeah. 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 I turn the precision, now what's with the sloppy art? Tell me, I'm the original nigga, you're just a carbon copy part. Yeah. I'm a fan, I'm a missile, fire start. Say what you owe, I'm trained to go. That's my part. Please don't tell on me, I'm almost famous. If you kill me, dog, guarantee I'm famous. Fuck up, you gon' ball, that ain't never changing. I burn a whole bag just to maintain. Train up. Smoke a lot of my profit up. Don't care, I'm still profitable. Run a shit like phosphorus. Tell me ain't no stopping us. All in a mother that follow us. Run up on me, I'm popping, bro. Please tell them don't bother us. What's so hard to be in time with that? She's talking to me and I'm talking to her. She told her friends that I'm popular. Now I'm friends with a copy of her. She's getting paper like copiers. Bears on, I'm a rock star. Addicted to being popular. No shame in my game, cause my heart's in it. Heard it's a dangerous game, so I flip the switch. Let me out the cage. I'm a rip this bitch. It's a dragon's rage. I'm a arsonist, and I'm feeling myself. I'm a narcissist. Got the good on my plate, and I'm sparking it. Got it from my man, TV gardening. It's a gossip, so it's hard to get. So I'm up in the way, it's so marvelous. Meditation hold, I be focusing. Hitting your pose, consortialist. I get what I want, I'm so fortunate. Bet you didn't know, dream love to spit. And nice with my hands, let me paint the pig. Nice with my hands, let me paint the pig. I got two stars in this. Yes, that means I'm all in this. Only in my line, on some business shit. Can meet at your kid, we got offices. Better come right if we talking shit. Drop that cash with you offering. I get what I want, the extortionist. It's already mine, it's the perfect fit. Creating myself, I'm the optimist. A legend, I am so prosperous. Got the keys in the game, I'm unlocking it. Gems for free, still I'm confident. They wanna pray with me, I'm the prophetess. They tryna shoot a shot, and I'm blocking it. They wanna hop on top, but I'm way too lit. They can handle the heat. Yeah, I'm phosphorus. Smoke a lot of my profit up. Don't care, I'm still prosperous. Run a shit like phosphorus. Tell me ain't no stopping us. All in a mall and they follow us. Run up on me, I'm popping, bro. Please tell them don't bother us. It's so hard we ain't popular. She tired of me and I'm tired of her. She told her friends because I'm popular. Now her friends want to copy her. You getting paper like copiers. Bands on, I'm a rock star. Addicted to being popular. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, welcome to Bangin' Beers episode number two. Um, yeah, we got another Blackwell, and Dan is becoming a uh, regular. Um, so the first episode, uh, Austin's in the chat. Austin, we love you, man. Ho hope that you know. Hope that everything's going good. Uh, my little brother, who's on the first episode, has um, been. He went back to base. Um, in, in uh, San Diego. So, Austin, thank you so much for tuning in and, and s continue to support us here. Um, I'm trying to pull up. Of course, once everything happened, I lost all my stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to be trying some beers here. Um, intro song is uh, a local artist from Harrisburg area. I had his whole bio here and I lost it. Um, Eskimo Jones. Um, I'm not sure who was featured in that song with him, the, but that the, I, I loved it. Great stuff. I met him... Uh, in Harrisburg when I did the live show and um, he's going to be on uh, my my little brother Craig Hedrington's um, heavy hitter show in uh, February on, on uh, Valentine's Day at HMAC in Harrisburg. The place is a great venue. They do a lot of really cool stuff there. Um, they, they do they showcase a lot of local artists. I love it. I'm going to be there again in March helping out another show they're doing. Um, all the links in the description, everything you heard for that day, uh, the, the song, um, his his uh, SoundCloud, uh, Spotify, everything you're looking for is all in the description. Check him out. We're going to be closing the sh show with uh, with another song. Um, if he's in the chat or if he's watching, give me another song. And we'll, put, we'll put you in the outro as well. Um, but yeah, so be uh, Bang and Beers episode two. We got a lineup here. Um, we're kind of showcasing a, a, um, a brewery today with uh, Hoof Hearted. Which kind of to me, I always every time I say it, I think it sounds like who farted, um, which is probably what they're going for, which is pretty Absolutely, funny. Yeah. Um, 
another quick plug real fast. So Heidi, um, we now we're, we're getting like interviewed everyday people, everything. We got stickers made. You can't really see them; they're tiny, but they're on the uh, they're on the mics. Um, we have a little. You see the, the the laptop is sticker bomb. This whole table is going to be that way too. So we have a lot of different things. So when you come see us at a local or live event. You can check out the table, but I just got a new mouse pad. Uh, interviews at Everyday People mouse pad made by my awesome wife. Um, she she's been f- phenomenal with uh, giving up her kitchen and a lot of time with us, with me. So um, I I don't think I have sat down and hung out with Heidi in probably like five days. So you know she's been amazing with this whole process and letting me do my thing and and uh, and, and bring you guys content. So um, like I said, we got some we got some the beer list is on the description as well. So if you want to take a look at that, it's all there. Um, Ben, you want to start us off with the first, um, first beer? <laughs> Absolutely. This is, um, their series. Who'd like to hold my clipboard? It's, <laughs> they consider it a frappe style IPA. They use, um, lactose and they usually do like a different build of different fruits. This one's the newest one, which was canned January the 8th. It's a strawberry flavor. So usually in my opinion, Strawberry and lactose actually work out pretty well for itself, believe it or not. So can't really go wrong with it. But uh, let's let's bang this one out. Bang it out, banging bears. Ooh, got a little fun. <laughs> um, now just to be clear, you said this is this is more of a fresher can, correct? This is a fresher can. All right, because <laughs> sometimes that we um, I don't be too too much. We'll, we'll go back around again. I just want to put a little in my glass. Um, the uh, some of these cans will be aged our bottles will be aged we will definitely put that out there so it is so we're, we're very fair with it with our view because obviously a beer tastes different rage than it does um fresh sometimes i prefer a beer aged we just actually had a beer last night um the breakfast club series beer from um break um breaker breaking breaker Bre- breaker brewery breaker brewery yeah. up in wilkes bear um we had their their straw uh, the strawberry muffin uh princess breakfast club series beer last mm-hmm. night and that's been aged for a while um i thought it was really good the strawberry definitely came out that was impressive was delicious yeah. so uh is that can kicked no it didn't no. all right i'm gonna take a little more hopefully does anyone need any more hopefully this isn't like the last episode where we did how many did we do like we did twelve. It was like we a did a, we did two six packs of beers, and I was not comfortable being that intoxicated on camera. So it, we won't be that. I was smoked. I was smoked. Um, another quick thing. I don't know if you see. It is Russell. It is Royal Rumble weekend, as you know. With them, with them. Um, <laughs> Dan's already struggling. All right. Um, <laughs> Royal Rumble weekend. So last night we went to a uh, TNA Impact PPW show. We'll talk about all that in Tornado Tag Podcast. But I'm wearing my Shawn Michaels Bret Hart shirt. I just got there last night. I'm really excited about it. Um, <laughs> That's like a Good. strawberry. Yeah. Who, uh, we'll, yeah. we'll start. With, we'll start with you at the end there, Dad. Well, Dad, I'm going to say Dad, but it's uh, Tony Blackwell Senior. If you've seen him, we did an interview with him. Actually, both guys on the table we interviewed. Uh, we interviewed Dan and, and Dan and Dan, and then we all interviewed my father for his uh, volunteer firefighter. So, what's your review on that one? Uh, actually a pretty good beer. Um, when you told me they were IPAs, I was kind of scared because I'm not a big IPA fan. Ooh. This is not oh, very hoppy. Not supposed to say nice, uh, nice strawberry taste. No, you, no real. Um, like there's, you don't have a strong aftertaste mm-hmm. that lingers. Of like, like, like the hop that you would normally yeah, get. The yeah, hop and nice the strawberry and mix together really well. Yep, mm-hmm. nice and crisp. Um, kind of like. Kind of refreshing, nice fruity flavor to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. normally the fruity the fruity beers for me they're like a, a sample, try one, move on. I can you can drink this, you can drink a couple of these. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I can I can do one or two. Yeah, I'm a fan of that as well. Um, <clears throat> now all every like we're not. I don't want to be very clear. Be very clear to some of the brewers if they are listening and they come back and and and, and look at this. Um, we're not so much if if. Everyone has their own palate. So Hudson Valley, you guys make very tasty beers, but I'm not a sour fan. Sours are tough for me. Um, coffee beers, I may make a face. I'm just being very clear. Coffee <laughs> flavor does not agree with me. So two people, one who I have to table here at the very end, he's not an IPA fan. So if he's telling you he likes the double IPA and that's not on his palate, because it's that's a good that's a good sign. So this is a very good beer. Um, I think across the table, yeah, we're fans of it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed that. We are going to, unless Ben needs the, the label, we are going to peel the label off, and it will add the table of stickers. So this this made the list. This is a good beer. Um, it's going to be the first beer on the first beer on the thing. Ben, what's your review on this? I thoroughly enjoy how it tastes like strawberry jam. 
And it, and again, like uh, your dad said, pretty much it doesn't have that hoppy aftertaste to it as well. Um, just kind of walking into it, strawberry lactose, and being an IPA, I knew this was going to be a good one. They hit it out of the park. Um, I'd just like to see how this one would age like for a few months because th this is the type of beer that you actually age. Um, I had their pink guava and hoof. Please come back with the pink guava. And you know, I had it for a year, one can, and it still was pretty good. No, like very little malt, but still overall excellent. It's pretty good. Again, thumbs up for me. Good job, Hoof. What do you got? Yeah, I, I get it. Well, I'm not an IPA guy <laughs> at all. Um, I was a few years ago. I don't know. I just drifted out of it. Mm -hmm. And this is probably crazy because this is what? Strawberry? Yes. And <clears throat> with the hops and that strawberry, to me, it tastes like grapefruit. Yeah, I, I love grapefruit taste. Mm -hmm. I love the grapefruit taste, but I definitely you de I, you definitely taste the the hop with the with the citrus, but yeah, the, you get the, citrus. the strawberry definitely. It, yeah, the citrus the, the strawberry is like kind of like right at the end, like just fades away. Like you don't, but you don't have that that what do I want to say that lingering that aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the aftertaste, the bitterness to it. Yeah. All right, let me. Let yeah, me. I could sit hot day, chilled. Yeah, that would be. Ooh, one or two. I love it. Yeah. yeah I thought it was a little strange saying it tastes like grapefruit though. Yeah. There's um, no grapefruit in it. We're just gonna we're gonna caveman this. We're not gonna rinse our cups. Because <laughs> I just realized we forgot that whole process. Oh. Heidi. Yeah, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need a dishwasher. <laughs> um <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> Never mind. We'll, we'll just we'll be fine. We'll 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 wing it. Um, Ben, next up on the list here, another who farted. Okay, this is one I didn't have before. It's called Special Occasion. I'll let you look at the can. <clears throat> they do like oh, wacky like eighties like cool stuff. Yeah. This is the only can that I have. The only thing I'll say, if we do like that, I just want to keep the the label. This is just their double IPA. Uh, you know, we're going single, double, and then the other one's oh, going to yeah. be a triple. Hey, surprise, surprise. For oh, you. single, so, double, triple. Looking forward so to So kind of going down the line here. So <laughs> this might be, this this will be like, what, the fourth time you hit that third base? <laughs> no, it's a joke. It's a joke. All right. I got, I'm here all week. I'm here all week. <laughs> so we're going to try this one out. So this is going to be a new one for me for the most part. Oh, oh look at that. Dan got a bath. Shot it all over me. Thanks. Oh, I'm going first? Yep. <clears throat> we're going to go down the line. Um, the can. Oh, let me go to the last one real fast. The can it's artwork. Um, it's a. Uh, I don't know who the guy is. Maybe he's one of the brewers. Don't know. Um, it's a blonde guy with like a turtleneck and his little clipboard, and he's playing a guitar and singing to a little child, and it looks like he's doing a Hitler pose. Uh, Johnson. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. He has one arm straight in the air. It's something off of a movie. They always do like weird '80s references too. So yeah, this one. Oh, so that's kind of fun. So you try to guess the movie reference. Mm -hmm. And no, see I, what it's all about. Yeah. So this one kind of looks like obviously a prom. It's but got it's a, Medusa. but it's Medusa. So I'm guessing maybe um, what was that? The old school movie with uh, Clash of the Titans. The, the Medusa. Oh, yeah. Very well yes. could be. Yeah. Clash wow. of the Titans with a little prom feel. Hadi Hadi movie reference, and she ran in. <laughs> I, I have no idea what this one could be. He's singing, he's playing guitar, singing to a little kid. He's doing a little, little hi. Hi, how you doing? With a very straight arm. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Monster's ball. There you go. There you go. Monster's yeah. ball. Nailed wow. it. If that's what it is, Dave, good move. Good, good job, Monster. The other one, I have no idea. Well, You're fine. You can come we, over. We can laugh it around then, too. All right. She, All right. Um, she's cheating. She's Googling it. That's how she knows. She's taking Orange a bowl. Go ahead, uh, bowl. go ahead, Dad. Just start it off. Interesting smell. Mm -hmm. Is it double IPA? That's a double. Oh, that's hoppy. I like it. I don't think it's that hoppy. No, you? No. Oh, wow. As a double IPA, it's smooth. It's very smooth. It's actually pretty smooth. Light. Very smooth. Almost like a light beer. It can't. It, yeah, maybe. Maybe. It that really is. is. And that's a 9.5. So the other first one was a 9.0. This is a 9.5. Oh, you, you can really taste a little bit of that. Yeah. Picking up grapefruit. Yeah. And we do have Uber picking me up, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Just check it. The, the police are watching this live on stream and they're waiting for the DUI outside. Yeah, you know. That's all right. I got friends that are police. I'm not saying. <laughs> not bad. Actually, pretty good. Wow. Good for one or two. Yeah. I would go one or two of these. Um, I was pleasantly surprised that there's not a lot of hop, hoppiness to it. I'm picking up some grapefruit taste. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Not a lot of. Uh, um, like a lingering taste, but it's actually pretty good. <clears throat> good, good. Now, bye bye. Now, personally, I always like to cater to like my. The there audience. is still some in that can, so if anyone yeah. wants to top themselves off, I personally like getting like all these cans and like be like, "Hey, try it out. If you don't like it, mm -hmm. hey, so what? You know, you at least you tried it. Move on. You get you get to build up your palate, uh, but." Again, it, this is a smooth double IPA. It, it could be very dangerous, but yeah, um, yeah, it, it is juicy. Pick up a little bit of the grapefruit, like your dad mentioned, and uh, yeah, this is. Where's Hoof Heart located? Out of? They're la located in Ohio, Marengo, Ohio. Okay, so, and where do you go to pick this up? Well, let's just say I have a few connections, Tony. Ben has Ben has a secret like Fight Club beer club thing <laughs> where he he drives i mean this kid's uh, has has taken road trips to boston to new york to new jersey to different breweries and he and he's and he's so thank you from me and everybody else you know for putting the legwork in to get these beers because they're not they're one, not ones you come across very easily All right now uh some other news then too uh they actually who part actually distributes now they got as far as harrisburg now oh nice so Believe it or not, I don't have to do a lot of the legwork anymore. Just nice. Harrisburg. So Har Harrisburg people, if you're listening, because yeah. you came in to listen to there some Eskimo Jones, um, mm -hmm. they are in the Harrisburg area. So go buy a couple cans and, and let them know what you think. Um, you know, we do tag the breweries and all this, so they are more than welcome to to let us know or you know Absolutely. anything like that. But um, Equilibrium liked our last post. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, they're, they're and then really Ben tagged a uh, a beer distributor that he he goes to, and they and they gave us some love as well. Mm -hmm. I got it. You're good. Talk. Keep talking here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to uh, upstate New York at the end of the week, so I'll pick up some uh, local flavors for you guys. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, Appreciate excellent. that. That'd be great. Um, I won't name the I won't name the breweries now, but. Uh, all right, I'll surprise let, us. Uh, yeah, it'll be a future podcast. Yeah, so can, we actually we, we went to the Guinness Brewery, which isn't technically a craft beer, um, but we don't we, we won't shy away from other stuff. If people want us to try PBR, we'll drink a PBR. I mean, yeah, why not? I'm not shy. <laughs> why not? Um, <laughs> hey, beer's beer. When yeah. you put it in front of me, um, hey, drink yeah, it. Yeah, so we're definitely not like this has to be craft beer, and you drink it with your pinky up like the Bud Light commercials. <laughs> if you want us to do a whole episode of domestics, we'll do it. Uh, you give yeah, us some domestics. Absolutely. We'll do a whole four loco episode. Tanner, <laughs> Tanner will be on that episode if we do four loco. I think I have a can of that left over from the original <laughs> when it, they still had caffeine and all that. We can do too. like the craziest malt beers of all time, like Colt Forty Five and, <laughs> and like Mad Old Dog, English Eight Hundred, Old English Eight Hundred, <laughs> like the oh, beers. Oh, Mickey, Mickey's the hand grenade. Yeah, the, yeah. the beers yeah. you, the oh beers you get when you were six. And they're the only ones you can afford because yeah. your buddy's all chipped in. I don't even think they make the beers that I drank at 16. <laughs> Back in the roller skate. I mean, yeah. boy, I mean with my father younger. sitting here, I never drank beers at 16. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. They still make uh, Schmitz. Schmitz, yeah. So when we lived on South Street um, and our neighbors uh, had, um, when the, I guess the, old, the, the older son, because it was the grandmother and the grandson, yeah. and then the, his, her son, he used to booze under his porch and leave cases of beer there. And it was always the red dog with the red bulldog. Yeah, I don't think it's made anymore, but I always wanted to try that beer just because I always loved the red bulldog. Because growing up as a firefighter, I'd always see Mac, and then I always see this red. I was like, I can't wait to try that. And then by the time I was old enough to like get into drinking, it was it was it was gone. I want to take a look and just see if they actually. Well, before you do that, you want to top off your. See, Ben always gets a little distracted. He forgets yeah. to drink his beer. <laughs> yeah. so we gotta keep him on pace here. We're we're on the hoof. We're on the next hoof. You think that one's Carrie? Huh? Carrie. It might be Carrie. It could be. That's another good call out. Heidi says it's a monster at a prom. Um, it might be Carrie. 
but I like Monsters Ball. I think we're going to go with that one. I think that was. Oh, I know that one, yeah. um, Okay, so we're going to be going on task. This is the final hoof. Of, hoof, hoof, hoof. Of the, of the run. This is one of their very infamous ones. Red that kind of got me into uh, the craft in general. It's Conky Dong. Their, if you, uh, their joke. Could you grab the other Conky Dong off the top there? See, what they did is um, they did Conky Dong, which is the regular, which is just, uh, I think it, that might be an Imperial or just a regular IP. Double Indian. Double India Pale Ale. This is the normal one. It's uh, Donkey Kong with a little bit of a glory hole cut in his barrel. Yeah, <laughs> covered up. So, yeah. I mean, um, infringements. <laughs> so, and it's called Honky. Con 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 I wish Con it was Honky Dong. That would be Con Con amazing. Dong. Con 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 Dong <laughs> beer. And then this is the. This is the that's the regular version. This is the regular, and then the one we're drinking now is the now this is the quadruple dry hopped triple India Pale Ale, and they have a lot going on with the can. They have Conky Dong, and they have Mario and S and M gear with a plunger, and they have Billy <laughs> Mitchell, which people, if you don't know, um, he actually got the he was the one that got the high score in Donkey Kong. The he was the world machine. record holder. Yes, oh, nice. yes, but they found out that he cheated. <gasps> emulation he cheated. because some random guy some guys that were experts at like emulation and whatnot and computers they saw the footage and they saw that there was a little bit of a skip versus like the actual hardware in general mm -hmm. which is pretty interesting and it's like well you're not you're not anymore you know you're not the high score guy anymore so, so they, they they flew him out they said yeah. get out of here friggin right they did <laughs> but not, not until after they put him on a beer hole you got to Wait, you gotta watch the cord, man. I'm getting like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna get hanged here, buddy. We're gonna, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna um, die before we have get through all these beers. Another cool thing here with Dan, this can. Dan, if you like the beer, wait till he goes to drink it and then just yank the cord. Oh, oh, no, 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 the mushroom for Mario to get the extra life. It's a green little mushroom. It says four up. Oh yeah. Right. So it has a cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah. like, there's a lot going on with the cans. Huh? It's a it's fun little Keanu nostalgic thing. It looks like Keanu Reeves, but that's pretty if cool. you heard the story, it's the guy who cheated getting oh. the high score. Heidi, you goof. Attention. Over there, opening up all your wrappers, eating candy you over there. Oh my, oh, my goodness. Sorry. Over here. Speaking of Mario, okay. little no Bowser thing. music playing on my ringtone. <laughs> I've had this beer, so I won't go too crazy. Now, for this quadruple dry hop triple, it's pretty much the same thing as the special occasion is percentage-wise. It's a 9.5. Austin, my little brother's saying that uh, one of the main reasons he got caught is because the audio spliced. Or the audio spliced a lot, so that's how they kind of caught him on emulation. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it was something <laughs> along those lines, yeah. Austin, are you supposed to be, like, scrubbing a toilet or something? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's what semen one do. He's a semen two, all right? Well, it doesn't matter. He's still a semen. <laughs> oh, man. He's above scrubbing this. toilets. He's a semen two. Yeah. <laughs> and pretty soon he'll be petty, all right? Petty? That's what they go. They go from semen to petty. We made, we, I picked on the whole, before you got here last time. That was I don't want to know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, I'm so anymore. proud of Austin, 100%. <laughs> What's happened to our military? Uh, <laughs> it's been like that for years. Uh, Glad I never had. <laughs> That'd be a tragic mess. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't take us. We're not smart enough. Yeah. Congratulations, Austin, for being a seaman. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, you got you got little, you got the first taste. I didn't taste mine yet. So you had. Oh, yeah. I got. Uh, I I can't place the flavor. Slight. Slight aftertaste. Oh, that's uh, definitely a triple. So the strongest triple. IPA I've ever had in my life was a Guinness. So it was like taking a shot of whiskey. It was oh, yeah. crazy. Wow. Um, so Guinness, you wouldn't think is a craft brew. Obviously, it's not a craft brew, craft brewery. But what they did in the Maryland area is they literally, to, this is what it seemed like to me. I could be completely wrong. I didn't do my research. Um, they literally took a bunch of guys who were craft brewers, gave them Guinness money, Guinness funding, and just said, make beers, do what you want. Um, they, they, they serve regular Guinness on tap. They serve all the, the normal the Guinness. The, the blonde. So there's three. There's the, stout, the blonde. The stout, the blonde, and there's the other one with the, the bird on it. That's the one that's only available in Ireland. Is it? I 
I think, but I, I, I was trying to remember what the bartender said. She said, we have the, you know, obviously the stout, they make the blonde there in, yeah. in Baltimore, outside of Baltimore. They do a black and tan, which is a half and half. Um, it's not on the menu. We have to ask for it. Yeah. And then the, um, or half and half. We call it black and tan because the Yingling. They, mm -hmm. they, um, they make one that's only available in Ireland at their, at their you know, yeah. headquarters. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and I believe it was on tap at that point in time. It was. And then they have a bunch of. And then on bottle, they had style. the anniversary yeah. one that we didn't try. Yes. We didn't get it. We fucked up. The 200, 200 anniversary? Something like something that. Like yeah. that. But then they that. also they I've take the that. original stout recipe and turn it into an IPA, which was awesome. Oh, no, um, no, yeah. No, it was. I loved it. It was literally Guinness. It was it was a Guinness, but with IPA twist to it. It was so good. There was a couple of their beers that were. They had a coffee really beer. You loved the you loved the stouts. The they, stouts. The they made like stout was really good. Yeah, they made an oatmeal stout. They made a double nitro stout. Mm -hmm. Um, they did a um. There was an, there was like three or four. You you took your flight was all stouts. Yeah, mine was all IPA, <laughs> but the triple IPA was on it i he took a sip of it and it almost knocked him off his chair yeah it it, it was oh, wow. it was strong it was it was literally like and it was straight off the tap it was like and the cool thing is when you go to the guinness brewery in baltimore um the, the, the what, we're, what we're talking about right now may not be there they change it all the time yeah the 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 the, the, I, the ipas and the and and the stuff that they make there um is probably going to change from time to time and and it's kind of cool but it's kind of not cool because if they sold some of that in bottle i would buy it you could buy a growler there um but for the most part i asked what are the chances if uh if this beer takes off um what are the chances that it it turns into a something you would bottle and sell and they said probably not likely because their market is only their demographic and the only people trying it are the people who come to the brewery yeah um, but they do they do awesome stuff. Um, ben, what did you think of this beer while you're? Well, I've had it so many times overall, but you know, to, well, from having I've had an single, older can. Is this an older can or a newer can? No, this was can twelve twenty six, so fairly new. I personally, the last can I had, it was aged. Yeah, I think it's better aged. Sometimes it works out like that. See, a lot of the times now the original recipe, Conky Dong. Is not good aged. We had an aged can of that. You got, you got to really watch with Ooh, that though. That That's was malty. Thing. That like was you malty. Got, you kind of have to watch like a month or two. Okay, but after that, mm. yeah. So because Ben gets so many, when he buys these beers, he gets them in, in very large quantity, and then he trades and does his thing. And then what we he likes to do is he'll we'll come over, we'll play some video games, we'll hang out, science experiments. Yeah, and we'll do experiments. We'll try them when they're fresh, and then we'll let them age for a while, and we try them aged because some beers age better. Like to, like tropes that we're gonna get to next. Um, people buy Mad Elf and let it sit in a room temperature basement or a basement with no light, no nothing, and they let a can they let a case of bottled uh, Mad Elf age for a year, and then they'll open it the next year, and it's stronger and it tastes better. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a, it's a weird thing with beer. Sometimes you can age them, sometimes you can't. I'm actually sitting on two bourbon barrels that have been aged already aged. And then sold, and then I'm aging them again. So that might be the next episode. Two bourbon Definitely. barrels. I'm just telling you now. I, I if you thought the first episode I was uncomfortable drunk, <laughs> next one's not going to be any better. <laughs> and basically, we're really what we're lo looking at here when we aged them then too, because a lot of the times yeah. when these breweries actually release the beers, they're what yeah, we consider moment. green. So sit, letting them see, sit for a week or two or even maybe even a month actually works out a lot better in their favor. So it's just going to kind of add on to it. And if you ever. <laughs> <laughs> is it, this is the this is the fun. This is the fun show. This yeah, is yeah. The, the improv. One, you but. put beard people. It's not only a serious. Huh. Of course not. Of course not. But. Real quick, talk about craft beer. And because we talked about it earlier, mm -hmm. the HMAC Center that I told you I went with before, and I met a lot of those local rappers and, okay. and artists, um, singers as well. They do a lot mm -hmm. of cool stuff. Um, I don't know if the show already passed, but Crash Test, uh, Crash Test Dummies is playing there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it already happened. I have to find that out. Um, but the uh, their craft beers, so they have like maybe, I think it's like eight, eight or nine taps. It's all craft beer. I don't think they're like, I think they have two domestics on tap. They like a really light. 
uh, up in Harrisburg. Oh. Um, a lot of craft beer on tap. They had Evil Genius on tap. They mm-hmm. had um, not one Trogues, which is shocking. I don't think there was one Trogues mm-hmm. on tap That's for being yeah. in Harrisburg. Um, yeah. They had a lot of good stuff, though. I was very, very impressed with their mm-hmm. – I had all the Evil Geniuses. I love all the Evil Genius. Um, but, yeah, check them out, too, if you're into the craft beer and you want to go see some cool live music. HMAC is your place because – they got a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah, definitely. But overall, uh, with this being fresh, I kind of like it aged, but <laughs> still, you know, sometimes you have have to have a little something boozy. Sometimes you have to have a little something sharp to awaken your senses a little bit. But overall, I'm so used to this. You know, I'm getting thumbs up just because of yeah. Donkey Donkey real real quick, real there. quick. Um, I we have a few people that are tun- tuning in um, that can't comment or can't enjoy. Uh, you know enjoy the conversation the reason i think that's happening you have to make a youtube account to post so if you do make a youtube account and you are on here give mm-hmm. us a like uh hit the like button and give us a subscribe as well Absolutely. um so you can join in the conversation so we, we look for i won't i won't put your name out there but the person i'm talking to right now i want you to comment in because i've known this guy a very very long time and you know him as well dad oh. fun oh. fact his son and my son hung out a lot and we're both juniors so that'll be my hint. Your son? His son. His you son. Have a son Tony? His what? son said you had a son. What? No, you have a kid? Not that I know what? of. Not that I know of. But this <laughs> man's son <laughs> and my and three beer three beer tastings in these. No, I'm not even I'm not drunk. Um <laughs> can you make his, it, what? Can you make it public so what? people can share it? Here. I thought it was public. I I apologize. This Maybe is, that's why they can't. This is why it. this is why she's part of the team. This she's, is why she's part of the team. You are now the CEO. Yep, she's CEO. <laughs> Producer. Um, yes, but his son, Dishwasher his son and your son, which is me, that's what I meant to say, oh. um, our juniors, our juniors. That's so that's your hint. He's trying to he's trying to comment on the thing and join in the conversation. You can dwell on that. Um, oh, I'm done God. my beer. I'm done. Mine. I'll have a little bit. More. All right. Fun do fact: We I, both. Do we I both, have to finish mine? Yeah, we both got. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we both like got it? arrested at the Wait, mall like for being little badass kids. Uh, yeah, okay. And Sorry, when we went to the <laughs> when, we, we, when they put us, <laughs> he got handcuffed. I didn't. But when they brought us in the office, like, what's your name? And I was like, Tony Blackwell. He goes, is your dad Tony Blackwell? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, what's your name? And he said it. And he goes, your fucking dads are like. <laughs> <laughs> like and then like what's your name and rest his soul uh we were with my buddy doug wall he's like doug wall and he goes well i don't know your dad and he goes i don't i don't really know him either and, then we, <laughs> and, we, and we moved on but yeah oh what are you doing there you gotta mute you gotta turn that volume down yeah oh yeah we can yeah. hear that you're, you're doubling up uh, you're doubling uh, up. Uh, <laughs> oh i like it i like it. You're, right. you're, you're all right you're all right you're all right yeah, yeah, what do you got? I've had it so many times, I like I it. Know. See, I can't judge See, Tony and I, we always have this, have have this yeah, one, so we're just so used to it. Eight, but, like, bringing right. people into the fold. With no, that. I'd it's rather the first one. Okay, so this, I mean, the first one's more of a flavored, it's the strawberry, yeah. this is a, is a pure IPA. See, now I'm, I'm kind of confused. Do you need help? And, do you need and and help? And you're forcing me to drink it. And it really <laughs> makes it. I'm here for you, brother. I'm here for you. Maybe you can explain it to me because I'm not a con- I'm no connoisseur of IPA. I see mm-hmm. IPA and I just kind of shy away from it. No me offense too. to any brewer that, that makes them, but yeah, those I would I would buy one or two of those mm-hmm. because they don't have that bitterness to them mm-hmm. that that I get with a lot of. Yeah, that last one did. I mean, it was light, but it did have a little bitter. In that the was end. a little bit bitter, <laughs> but. <laughs> But not bad, considering what I've had. We should before, rinse. We should do a rinse. Where it's like, I can't, I can't yeah. drink this. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it's the hops or we, we something. We need to do else, a rinse, Heidi. But uh, there's a. There's Can you a just couple, grab the glasses? There's a, quite a few factors. Slide there. your glass over to Heidi. We're gonna do a quick rinse after, especially going into this next one. Oh yeah. Well, let me take a wh- let me take a whiff of that. <sighs> Buckle up, boys. That's trogs. Trogs. Yeah. Trogs. Yeah. So no, the bur- that's a do- that's the I did one. I did donate a couple beers. I think Ben stashed them. Mm-hmm. You donated beers? Yeah. When? When I came in, you were upstairs. What did you bring? <laughs> we you drank were upstairs them. doing. I stuff. put them. We drank them. I put them in the fridge. What do you, Heidi? Can you see what Dan brought? Dan brought some beers. We might have to extend our list. 
Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. Oh, my Mom, God. Mom warned me about this. <laughs> Mom warned me about this. <laughs> three of them were donated Lord. by uh, Mike Vernalis from Vernalis' Restaurant. Hey, Mike? From, I from, love Mike. Know? Now we have to drink. He is definitely like, he's a he is another IPA. Oh, dear Lord. Now we got, I, I hope he tunes in, man. I love it. All right, so here we're giving a plug right now. Yeah, make sure you tag him. My mom used to work there. He knows us personally. He's yeah. a All right, so A, my mother worked for you. B, yeah. you're a Washington Redskins fan, which is tragic. Tragic. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I will kick you off this show. And two, two, it is the They're best place. The bottom it's one of my favorite places to, for one. to get a full, you can get lunch, the breakfast, the dinner. Yeah. Food. If you, uh, yeah, the traveler, yeah, all, them two there. Well, actually, the, let's just see what we have. Let's bring the, them up. The bring third them up, one, and then the, we'll talk about no, it. No, no, Shame, no, 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 no. It's no. on the, it's on the door. It's the shameless plug. It's with the red V it's on the you, front. If you want a really it's good omelet, go to Vernalis. Oh my right god, the, the breakfast yeah. at Vernalis's is phenomenal. I love those guys. I love that. I love them so much. Great family. So they donate some beer to us. Long Sunday, guys. So we got a victory. We got a victory winter. Mom, victory, Mom victory, winter this. cheers. Cheers, yep. Then we got, got Sigmeyer winter beer. warmer. Yep. Ooh, a lot of winter beers. We got, and this one was donated Ooh, by chocolate me. Chocolate milk stout. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And chocolate we got a got shandy. Got Here's what we're gonna do. Chocolate chocolate winter winter so Heidi, take away the bottles and leave the can. Okay. Because oh, yeah. we already have. We're very heavy with IPA. We oh, will. Tr- we will do those next episode. We will do another episode very very soon. I love it. We are the show got donated beers. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get the right. stuff. That's right. The this one here was from. Uh, oh my I'm god! A, it's called. It, all right. So this is a chocolate, a chocolate stout. Yeah. It's called Muhu. Muhu. Yeah. Uh oh. Where'd you get that thing? Muhu. Uh, the beer distributor in Ringtown, next to the uh, funeral home. Sorry, I dropped the ball. I, I know you're making like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. But there are another one. If, that, if, if you I like need that, I'm going on a any kind of uh, IPAs, your regular crappy yingling, and this stuff, anything that is uh, exotic. They, oh, they he joined too. So it's really <laughs> gross. So the guy joined the chat. So I'll tell you. Did you figure out who it could be? I think I know. Who is it? Mike Cadu. Mike Cadu Senior is in the is in the building. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> is he really? Yeah. <laughs> and he said amazing story about you and Junior. Austin wrote, "I knew it. He knew yeah. it. He knew the story." Yeah. Um, There's another story we won't tell just yet. Oh <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> just yeah. eventually, so, but just yeah. yeah. So just just <laughs> yeah. the end of that story. I got crowned for a month, and Mike got nothing, and I did nothing wrong. That's because that's because his father is an ultra liberal when it comes to that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, here comes oh, the comments. Here it comes. Here comes the comments. <laughs> if Tony Blackwell says that he got in trouble for something he Mike, didn't do, Mike, he we, did it. <laughs> all it said is "you dick." Lol. <laughs> <laughs> the Kadu, the, the, I love the Kadu family. I, I've been, I've been, I've been part of that family for a long time. They're great, great people. I love them from from top to bottom. They're great people, Mike. We love you so much. That should be why, it, why, it, why it, does it, this smell like a whiskey? Because it's bourbon aged. It's bourbon, bourbon barrel. barrel aged. So we are at the bourbon barrel Trogues. Oh, Trogues, you guys make some strong beers. I'm gonna just put that out there. Thank so, you and good night. Yeah. So bye bye. So let me continue <laughs> with the question that your dad brought up. With oh, good, good, good. Why, do we, why do we have different bitterness? It just all depends. Oh, well, there's a lot of factors in that. It depends on the freshness of the hop, the different water that they do, how they you, actually do it. Because you a lot guy? of the times with your IPAs, now, as Tony mentioned, hmm. uh, there's like equilibrium. Okay. We They liked us. They do a different like build, like it's like you know still your standard recipes, but they always have like different like grains, malts, gotcha. so on and so oh, forth. Wow. But sometimes that actually works oh, out yeah. in their favor <laughs> this is like, with it. And not only that, the technology has been <laughs> thank uh, you, goodness, right here that has been you know tried and true, and they have been doing it kind mm-hmm. of experiment. It's like, hey, what would you rather do? Would you rather have? I might be taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> would, would, you rather, would you rather have a gallon of beer, try it out, t- t- taste test everything, versus 
distributing a whole, you know, 12 gallons and then putting the cans in and people saying, oh, your beer shit. You don't want to do that. You right. Wanna really right. get it down to the science. Gotcha. And wow. these guys, even though they've been around for maybe about less than five years or so, for some of them, they actually kind of know what they're doing. They kind of have their builds down. It just mm -hmm. all depends on a whole lot of stuff. Like a lot of your other, like your uh, shelf, they call it shelf IPAs, which basically is like your St like Stegmeier and, uh, you know, like, ter like Terrapins kind of like shelf. A lot of the times they, they sit for a while and like, Sometimes you have to get it fresh. Sometimes they are allow they can allow gotcha. that to happen. So, gotcha. like when we're when we're trying this stuff, this is like only months. This could be you know way way mm -hmm. past you know when they brewed it last. So just okay. keep that in mind when you're right. when you when you sample. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm done. I'm done. So we're at so Troganator is already if you're if you're if you're from the Pennsylvania Harrisburg especially area, Urgent. Trogues Trogues makes some good beer. Um, no, I'll tell yeah, a funny Trogue story. I'll tell I'll tell it here. I don't you gonna tell that story? I'll tell the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, roll, you warned man. me. Yeah. And now you're gonna tell that story. All right. So I warned I warned my dad that when you come here, just you're you can be completely honest with the beer review. We don't want you to. To, to, to if you don't like it, you don't like no it. No punches pulled. Yeah, but so when I first got into the beer scene, I was very very young. I would think I was like 20, 22. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm dying over there. Uh, now he said seventeen. He, he, um, but I I got new into the craft beer scene. So I oh my I, god, I like many others. Um, I can't move away. Anymore. I, I like I many others. That. Didn't get into craft beer right away. I was the one who was like, "This tastes terrible. Uh, why would you drink this? If I don't want fruity beers. You give me my beer. You know." Yeah, I was I like, beer. Yeah. You beer, know, beer. When everyone first starts yeah. drinking, um, they're like, "I'm gonna drink mixed drinks." <laughs> I'm a man. I'm not drinking that. You know, I'm not drinking that other stuff. So I slowly got into the craft beer scene. At first, I didn't. I did not like that. It did not like it. I drank a lot of Yingling. I drank, you know, firehouse beers. I call them. Yeah, yeah. Lager, <laughs> lager, Miller Light, Coors Light, um, Bud Light. The stuff you would get in Mont like the typical Monty City but bars. Um, we go to a hockey game in Hershey. My dad is a very, he's like the dawn of firefighter. He's like he, everyone knows him. So he, he gets a text, hey, I see you guys here. Um, come up to the VIP box. So he, one of his buddies, we go to a VIP box. All you can drink, all you can eat is a good time. Um, he's drinking. He gets a Trogues. Um, at the time, it was a Trogues. I don't even think they make it anymore. It was a Trogues blueberry beer. Oh, wow. I, no, mm. it was it, it was, um, it was blueberry, 100% blueberry. It was 100% blueberry. blueberry, yeah. Was it? Yeah, it was blueberry. Mm. Um, so my dad's talking to this guy in the, in the suite next to us. So mm -hmm. they're partitioned by a piece of glass. This dude's suit and tie, the whole nine. Um, and my dad's sitting there next to having a conversation, drinking the beer. And I, I, I come walking up with my, my yingling, you know, my, my hometown Pottsville piss water, I guess they call it. That's not what I call it. I'm just saying I love yingling. I'm a huge yingling fan. Um, so I come walking up, um, and the guy goes drinking yingling. And I was like, yeah, man, this is my whole time beer. This is what I drink. And he goes, why don't you try your dad's beer? Not an IPA fan, not, not, not a craft beer fan at the time, especially fruit flavored beers. I take a drink. I take another drink and I go, oh, that beer tastes like shit. <laughs> the guy goes, hi, I'm blank and blank, CEO of, Tro of Trogues Blank. Brewery. VP. Uh -huh. VP. VP, VP of, of Trogues, <laughs> Trogues Brewery. Yeah. Um, and I went, and I'm, I'm already kind of tuned up, and I went, sorry, man, your beer needs work. And my oh. dad's like, you fucking dick. Like, <laughs> I, I walked away. Yeah. I walked like, away. how do you have a conversation? I apologize. I He's away. not my kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I'm making up for it now. Trogs, <laughs> trogs are troganator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I, I forget when I actually fire. had We that. should have made you drink the whole bottle yourself Ooh, just to yeah. make up for that story. That may be a thing. Trogs, so just to, to redeem myself for Trogs, um, wow, that is really good. Their brewery is phenomenal, their restaurant's phenomenal. I haven't been there. Um, oh, the wow. I my, like the troganator, actually, the head chef for that. Oh yeah? yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. We have a friend who works for them. Um, mm -hmm. uh, they're they're. No, actually, I have two. One, yeah. One's the head chef, and he's he's really good with this stuff. Um, they actually had a duck confit with like some other stuff then too. And I'm like, I'm gonna get that, and phenomenal, like yeah. iron skillet. You know, oh, it was just a nice setup, and it was just 
filling excellent. Yeah. Good job, Matt Lett. That's a road trip. Yeah, we should go. We definitely go. Um, we'll get a couple definitely. beers. We'll bring them back. We'll do a whole Trugs episode. Definitely. Because I, I feel like I owe you now. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I roped in. So um, Perpetual IPA, um, Crimson IPA. There, I'm, Crimson I mean, Pistol. Crimson yeah. Pistol. There's a the, the whole the list can go on and on. I mean, since then, I've I fell in love with Trugs. Their IPAs are phenomenal. Um, the the Mad Elf that we I've had many uh, episodes uh, many episodes with the boys upstairs drinking drinking <laughs> Mad Elf and drinking <laughs> Trogadators and drinking. Oh, I got a story for you. Where too. I walked into a bar one time and they had a small bottle, corked, of. Double Mad Elf or Mad oh, wow. like Extreme Mad Elf. Oh, I forget the name of the Oh, probably Wild Elf. Maybe. Wild Elf. Wild, and I, I actually like, have a bottle of that. And too. I was like, "Can I try the Wild Elf?" And they popped it. They they knew right away because it wasn't selling because for obvious reasons we'll get to. They pop it and they bring it over and go here. That'll be eighteen bucks. <laughs> Yeah. It was. I don't know if that was the exact price, but it was high, and it was only a like a pony bottle. It wasn't a big bottle yeah. because it yeah. was very, very strong, and and, and uh, Extremely, yeah. it was it was a good, good beer. But it, I think, two of those, and you were crushed. It was a yeah. good night. You didn't even say it. Well, let me tell you the inside. Well, how I really got into craft wow. beer then too. So, I went to Penn State Main Campus, and that was really the whole 10. thing 8. with with. Uh, how I got into the craft beer scene, just going to like small bottle shops, trying out different shit, just going down the line. Oh, I'll try this. Oh, I'll try that. And it just was always an experiment. And I used to have like a mini bar. I had like seven or eight beers in my fridge domestic, just in case if somebody was just like, I don't like liquor. I'll be like, all right, well, you got beer. And then if they're like, oh, I don't like beer, then I had like two bottles of wine then too. So like I was mm-hmm. kind of yeah. fucking stacked yeah. with the stuff. So, and this show, just real quick, this show is not. Um, it, it, I know the show is banging beers, but if if there's if there's anything you guys want us to try beer wise, we'll try it. Um, absolutely, no. Um, if you wanted to try us, I'm not a wine drinker, but if you want to come on and try to and give us a wine challenge, you want to give us. We're gonna stay away from. Mind, yeah. We're gonna stay away from liquors. We're gonna stay away from liquors. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I was gonna say. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not doing that. Come yes. on, shot for shot. Yeah, we'd, we'd probably be able to sample like f you. That's three. all I'm saying. That's the answer. So if you tell, hey, I want you to try, you know, yeah. you're you're a UFC fan. You like MMA? Yeah. Proper twelve. I'll drink. Ah. Proper, I'll drink. I've had it. It's very delicious. Is it's it it's kind of like it's it's very similar to Jameson. We've had it. We had it. Proper twelve. Yeah, we had yeah. it at. Uh, Mc, one is that? It was that was Conor McGregor's whiskey. Conor we, McGregor. we had it at. Um, mm. We had it at uh, McNiff's. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Of it. I liked it. I mean, I still think. I, my favorite Irish whiskey. I mean, I love Jameson. Well, let, let me let me let me put it into its proper context. Yeah. No offense to the bar, but they replaced it. They replaced Maker's Mark. Yeah, Maker's Mark is the best. No way. No. Yeah. And and I was like, yeah, no. Maker's Mark is probably, in my opinion, I think that's a top Irish whiskey. I, yeah. No, and and again, no disrespect to the to the bar. But it, it has a Maker's name. Mark is Maker's it has a name. It's proper mm-hmm. twelve. It's Conor oh, McGregor. Yeah. yeah, that's the only so, reason. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. of the name. That's and it right. was hard. It was hard to find at first. So they probably said, "Oh, we have this. We can get it. We can get rid of it." Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I would say yeah. Maker's Mark, Jameson, proper twelve. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. So Ben, I'm sorry, your story. Sorry, so I, so I, anyhow, like getting into uh, craft beer, I, the beer burps. I was just like, oh, "All right, well, I'm 21. I'm ready to get you know torqued up because like at the time, it's like." You're trying out all these all these mixed drinks, mixed drinks huh? like you're doing whiskey like drinks. You're trying to like top yourself when you're 21, yeah. 22. And so when I get when I get to it, it's like when I got into the craft beer scene, Strong. Mad Elf. And I'm like, awesome. there's a case of Mad Elf. And it's yeah, like one of these. Oh wow, what's the percentage of that? It's like eleven percent. And it's just, it just like wow, this is absolutely insane mm-hmm. for you know, for a beer. And so like, I actually shopped around. There was like certain ones that sold it, like a case back in 20, no, let's see here, 2000, let's see, 2009, 2010 was about 54 bucks. And that was, yeah. that was pretty hefty. That's for a pretty penny. Yeah. And is like some of them, were, like one was like on the exit, like when you get towards state college, it was like 54 bucks. The other one was like 63. And like some of them were like absolutely ridiculous. So it's yeah. like, well, you know what? It's not too far away from me. I'll grab it. So grab my case, 54 bucks. I said to my roommate at the time, he's like, hey, I said to him, hey, when the first snowfall hits, it's in the back of my car. 
for snowfall hits, let's have let's have one or two, right? Mm-hmm. Was, okay, so, so for snowfall, and then I realized I'm like, bing, hey, you know what that means, right? I'm walk, I'm running out like two flights of stairs in moccasins to get to my car, pick up the barrel, <laughs> and all it's it's an ice cold freaking case oh, nice. of Mad Elf, like yeah. old school oh. Mad Elf. And, I'm just letting you two of them. We got lit. I'm gonna let you know something right now. If you think you're gonna have a party tonight, and you're gonna all you're all in the whole night drink a case of Mad Elf, you Not are sadly happen. mistaken. No, that, no, no. We only had like two. I only had two. I was flying. Oh my god. It's, it's um, insane. A question, a question that was posed here. Um, uh, <laughs> it says, "I agree with your dad on IPAs." My question is, what IPAs can appeal to the older folk? And then he said. Well, not old. We'll say middle aged. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, if you're not into the hoppy, the hoppy flavor, um, I would try. I would try one that's maybe replaced with the hop with more of a um, a smoother beer taste, kind of like mm-hmm. the second one we had, the occasion, special, um, occasion, special occasion, and then replacing it maybe with like the strawberry type IPAs as well. Um, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe one of you guys can answer this. Um, I'll give a shameless plug to Tap at Humboldt. Oh, I love that place. Um, you can go up there. They probably have 20, 24 different yeah. taps. Mm-hmm. And you can try a flight of five, four. Yeah. yeah. Flight of five. four. For seven five, bucks. Like for seven, like, eight bucks. For like seven, eight bucks. So you can you can sample an IPA. And I'm assuming the you can find most of those beers somewhere locally. Yes. Yeah. Not always. Not, Not always, always. Not but always. Yeah. so... So what he's well, saying at least is, it'll give you an idea. I, it'll give you an idea of the the um, range, the, the range of the the hop. Yes. So they put it on the board and they'll hop, give you an idea of what of what the range for the hop is. Yeah, the ABB. You like the ABB. Yeah, the ABB. So when you go to a, when the, uh, um, Humble Tap is a good one. There's one in Stroudsburg. I'm trying to think of other beers that Har- Harrisburg area. Harris, uh, Harrisburg Federal, area. Federal Tap House. Federal, Federal Tap, Tap House. That's also in mm-hmm. Lancaster, too. Yes. So like when it. you go to those places, and when you walk in and you see a chalkboard, and it's written with all the thing, and it says it says alcohol volume, ABV, and there's usually another one. I'm, 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 oh, drawing, I'm drawing a blank. BV, I think it might be like BV something. I yeah. Like BVU, so I you want to check what your tolerance is for, for the APV, which is the, the hop count. Mm-hmm. Um and then when you go in there, they're the best places to get the, the, to test your waters because a you're not buying a six pack, you're not buying a case, you're not buying a full a full glass, you're getting a flight. Yeah, it's um, like eight ounces. Yeah, it's eight yeah, ounces. It's not even. It's like five. And the no, cool thing like is, you can go into flight. those places. Four, four, you can go into those yeah. places, and and for seven bucks, you get a couple flights. You can try most of their menu. Yeah. And and you could really get an idea of what you like. It's all served in different glasses. There's no cross contamination. Yeah. You can get a nice meal with it. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Humble Tap is definitely your closest right now. Very very good place. I love them a lot. Um, but that's that's a good place to start if you want to try to dive into more IPAs. They also have a lot of. I mean, they do a great job up there with with their beer selection. And yeah. then sometimes you look into them and they have tap takeovers where they'll have like how we're doing now. Like we want to do like a, a can takeover where it's a whole bunch of the same brewery. Um, Absolutely love that. Y- you have a lot of cool different things, especially local wise. Um, you can go to their local breweries and they do the same thing, but it's going to be mostly their things. So mm-hmm. you have Breaking Brewery in. Um, Breaker Brewing, Breaker Company, Brewing Company, Company or in, in Wilkes-Barre. In Wilkes-Barre. Mm-hmm. We actually, I actually have all their Breakfast Club labels all over the table. I was a huge fan of that series. I love the Breakfast Club movie. And then when they did the thing, yeah, the they did a lot of cool content. So on the side, if you see the um, on the thing, it says the date it was aged and it has a quote from the movie. So like the princess said, um, don't you forget about me. The brain said sincerely yours because he wrote the note. So that it was, it was to me, it was my favorite beer series of all time. That's yeah. why it's on our table. Um, but go to different breweries, Trogues, um, uh, Victory. Um, trying to just trying to put some other ones out there's there. There's also kind Tired Hands. Tired Hands. Tired Hands. Yeah. Uh, well, Brothers Brothers Company. Good. Yeah. Well, oh, it used to be sold. We are blessed. We are blessed in the northeast part of Pennsylvania. We have the best water. We have, have a ton of. You know, craft brewers in the area. Who's up and coming? Oh, yeah. Cunningham. Cunningham, Cunningham Brewery. Cunningham, Cunningham is amazing. Um, yeah. 
Hidden River is actually pretty good too. It's in Douglasville, but six or seven up in the world. And, and then our buddy who on the podcast, there. what is his brewery is up and coming. He's he's making them at his garage right now, but he's start he he's branching out. He runs a brew fest. Mm-hmm. He, he literally went up ahead head to head with Yingling at the Winterfest, and his keg all his kegs t- kicked by the end of the day. Wow. So and, and you know what I mean, and he makes a beer with Gears Ice Tea. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Like they do a great job. So I mean. Beer comes down to your water source. If you have a good water source, you're going to have a good beer. And because where we are with the mountains of the Northeast Pennsylvania and Ohio and, and Maryland and New, the, and, the, and New York, Boston. It's also a, the build. Great. Also the build of what you're doing. Then yeah. Too, yeah. The water. We, we, we're very, we are very blessed to have great beer. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. All That's, right. So, what do we think of this uh, bourbon age? It's 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 beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. I, I'm beautiful glad beer. that I saved a whole bottle of that just because of beautiful. Like, Tro- oh, Tro- Tro- Orton beers. Yeah, Troganator that's like, a, that's like maybe a two three year old bottle. Oh, flat out. So it's a nice. I, I like the smoothness of it. Yeah. yeah. That um, wasn't as smooth as it was fresh. I mean, so that's why I kind of. It's crazy because when you drink that beer, it's it's literally like it's kind of like you're drinking a beer with a with a whisk with a bourbon on ice. Yeah, like it's yeah. it's good. It's good. What do yeah. they call them when you drop the like in the Guinness? You would drop the Irish car the bomb? Irish car bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's like what that. that. Yeah, it's almost like a car bomb. Yeah, yeah. you could definitely yeah. taste the bourbon. Yeah, oh, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I actually have two bourbon aged uh, agents sure for the next show. The next show we're gonna have we're gonna do a little more bourbon aged. Delicious beer, Troganator. I mean, you probably couldn't drink more than three of them. Ooh, no, you no. no. two. Yeah. Three would be three. Yeah, wow. Trog, listen, Trog is three. a job champ. <laughs> Trog does not. Wow. Trog does not mess around. If they're if they're gonna make a beer, yeah, they're gonna make a beer. Uh, what do we got? Uh, what do we got next? Okay, so we got South right. County. Full disclosure, as the host, South County. Next four beers. Is out of my wheelhouse. I'm an IPA guy. I like my bourbon barrels. Normally, the darker the beer, I'm not a fan. Here the only reason go. this, the only reason this is not on my list, and it is a South County IPA, is the coconut. So I'm very skeptical on this beer. I've never had it. Every time Ben brought it, I said no. I'm I'm good. I've had the the, the South County strawberry. Mm-hmm. I had the South County strawberry. Um, there was uh, there was two or three the, other the ones. caramel frappe. I did. I didn't. I didn't do that one. You did, you did do that. I one. did, but I didn't drink a lot of it. Yeah, but so because, still because anything it, coffee though, taster, I'm not a fan of but coffee. You at least tried it. though. I did try. You at least tried it. it. I think so that's nice. fair enough. Yeah, we, we're gonna. Pr- we should and rinse again with this. With that coconut. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Our of rinse, girl. One. We should get you like a little outfit. Oh yeah. <laughs> or just don't wear anything. Did you, did you yeah. drink up here? Yeah, finish it. I got a bunch of. Hang around with you, boo. There you go. Definitely get the dry job. Roll. Bone dry roll, guys. All right. Come on, Heidi. <laughs> yeah, so well, Dave, we'll, we'll get it. Nice. We'll get into that. What this are you doing? Oh, Dave, he's busting out his money. Don't tempt her. No, I, there's a hundred bucks there, honey. You better do it for the family. A hundred yeah. doll hairs. Yeah. Hundred doll. <laughs> we broke. Hair. We I broke. Call it doll hairs. I just it's so ingrained in that. Thank you. There, there's no structure to this show. We just wing it. I, I, yeah. It, but that's that's we like the beauty having fun. of this show. We like I thought there was this tacos is the on the show, show, though. I love it. it. She's making tacos. That's for later on. That's for the world. So let's party. Nice. So hey. after party, hey. I won't even fucking make it to the mid party. <laughs> I have to go watch the rumble party. tonight. Okay, so let's be on point here, Tony. So we, so you had the strawberry raspberry gelato. Yes. Then you also had the caramel frappe. Which there's other, there's, there's, there's two other fruity ones I had too. Fruit flavored ones. <sighs> okay, let me think here. From this okay. company. Yes. So the orange mango you had. Okay. You had the orange mango, and uh, what was the other one? I think you might have had the the first batch of the pineapple coconut. It was more pineapple than coconut. What's the age life on this can that we're drinking? Uh, this is one of their other ones. This was like sometime in 2018. So this is aged. This is aged. Yes. Now, I can't say I can't say enough about aging the gelatos. So, gelatos usually are good for two months. And you can kind of get, they have a good lifespan overall, regardless. Mm-hmm. And uh, not te- not bad at all, South County. You know, you can even let these beers sit for like two months. Well, we all, we know job. where, we know where Hoofheart is from. We know Trogs in Harrisburg. 
while you're well, I'll crack this open and sure. you can let us know a little bit about South County as a brewery. Absolutely. South County is located in Fawn Grove, PA. Put it this way. If you don't know where Fawn Grove is, it's like south of Harrisburg. It's maybe about an hour. I drove about an hour and 45 minutes to get there, and that's the fastest. Um, imagine if Pine that Grove had millions of bacon, do- uh, banging brews. Imagine if... Uh, oh, let me type it because you can't speak yeah. English on text. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> if you went to Pine Grove and they dumped like a couple million into there. Like their roads are beautiful just driving to get there. But they're like located in a strip mall location. And there's a fire pit. There's a lot of cool stuff going on with it then too. Very excellent guys. Their prices are on point too. Okay. 18 but 18 bucks for a four pack of this and that's actually pretty cheap for where you're coming from they are pretty the most affordable best the last show that we had was stellar like cosmic nod stellar wow. and stellar stuff too uh some of their beers four pack 10 bucks pounder cans you can't beat that they're yeah. there i mean i even said to them great job with the price point flat out they're they're excellent. I love you guys. Put it right. that way. So because wow. it's aged, when you smell it, it has a malty smell. Do you Slightly. agree? Would you agree? Slightly. When you mm-hmm. taste it, that flavor kicks you in the face. That is an excellent blend of coconut and pineapple. And this is an aged can. Both of them. Yeah, you get the neither one of them don't overpower. Get the neither one of them overpower the other. No, it's a great blend. Yeah, I hate that. I hate coconut. How they are. Yeah. I love coconut. I'm, I'm not a I'm not a coconut fan. It's delicious, but neither the pineapple doesn't overpower the coconut. The coconut doesn't overpower the. Pineapple. If you're not a fan of coconut, the pineapple supply supplies just enough flavor that you don't you're like oh coconut. It yeah, it's amazing. Yep, and this is an aged can. This is aged pina colada so, beer. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a pina colada beer. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, good call. If you like being in your corner. Yeah, <laughs> I hate getting caught in the rain. Um, yeah, so this is. So once again, this review of this beer, this is an aged, an aged can. We how long has this been aging? It's at least two months old. So okay. the last time I think I had it was in the summertime of last year. Okay. So that's just give you an idea. Yeah. So this can t- have a completely different review. Fresh. Um, I like I said, I'm not a coconut fan. I was worried these last couple beers I was worried about. I'm very I'm I'm happy with this. This is a good beer. I'm really enjoying it as well, okay. too. I'm kind of glad I broke this one out. You know, a lot of the times, like... Hi, can I have my phone back? Yeah, but you have a tough time picking out, like, different beers. And, like, not only that, keeping beers. And, like, some people are, like, skeptical. Like, Thank you, oh, well, you know, I don't want to trade you that because it's an old can. And, like, mm-hmm. I mean, that's not necessarily the case. Like, sometimes it even comes out even more. And, like, I've just been with South County for, you know, quite a long time where... Yeah, you could get away with actually aging these cans, and they get so much better as time goes on. So they're they are a fine wine of beer, and I thoroughly enjoy them. And every three months or so, whenever there's a new gelato, you're sure as shit, I'm going to be there. So again, great job, South County. Yeah, local local. Once again, a PA brewery, um, guys, amazing job. Uh, like I said, I was very very nervous because of the the coconut. But as someone who does who very dislikes um, coconut, very good job. I like coconut, but I didn't get. The oh, I'm good. Uh, okay, we'll leave it on. We'll leave it over there. All right. I'm sorry. I was doing a little something there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, what what that? Can I plug uh, what for? Uh, you can second, plug whatever you want. You're on the show. Second. Hold on one second, guys. That's a special occasion. Uh, so, hey, uh, uh, I don't know if y'all are out there for the uh, Sportsman Show in Harrisburg, February 2nd to the 10th. Uh, the oh, okay. I was looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, hey take two. <laughs> take two. Cut. Start over. Hey, you're in the Sportsman Show, February 2nd to the 10th. Dan of Coke Bushcraft and his whole crew will be down there. With some interesting new launches to his webpage. Uh, come on yeah, down, check it out. <clears throat> Chill out, uh, do yeah. some demos with us, and uh, just have a really, really yeah. good time. And uh, hope to see you guys there. 
So uh, yeah, and and Dan, I know we we did a lot of if if you're interested and you and you want to hear no more about that. So Dan, next to us, if you're if you're brand new to the show and you're just tuning in, I did an interview with Dan Wolak and Dan here um, about his experience on the TV show alone and what he's doing with his with his local survivalist crew. Um, and, and, and courses and stuff like that. Very, very great interview. Check that out on Interviews with Everyday People. Um, yeah. Also, they have a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, he's very funny to watch on Instagram. Uh, he has a really good, really good, uh, you know, he keeps you entertained. Um, he got a brand new phone, so he's excited about that. He's <laughs> yeah. making good videos. Um, very, very good guys. Um, yes. We want to do a collaboration video very, very soon where we have maybe the Bourbon Barrel aged show. <laughs> We got two there, <laughs> plus the ones you donated. So yeah. maybe coming soon, we're, we're going to try to do this show a little more often. It's just very, very hard, guys. If this is a show you're interested in and you want to see, see more of it, let us know. Um, we, we we push out a lot of content here at Interviews with Everyday People. Absolutely, yeah. um, so we're always busy. And and if you, this is something you enjoy, please keep tuning in. Like, and like subscribe, share, anything you got to do to get the name out there. If you enjoy the show, get it out there for people. Um, but yeah, check out, check out Cole Cracker Bushcraft. Yeah. You see their little logo. It's hard to see now, but very good guys, local guys, <laughs> Monty city boys, um, always showing the love to Monty city people. Um, and, and the Shenandoah one here, we'll, we'll, we'll give some love to, Four, six, two. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> so definitely check them out. Check that interview out. It was a good time. No, we're not cutting it out. That's live. You just did that. You just, you just disgraced <laughs> your whole city. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that is no way to represent uh, Cole Kirkland. Yeah, no one from Shenandoah does the four six two thing. That's all the outsider thing. <laughs> and he like did an it. Outsider, he did it. And I'm from West Cole Street, so yeah. bring it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nobody from Shenandoah except Dan does the does the does the four six two thing, but they all do the fuck thing. Yeah, the they all do the fuck. And the tree. I'm the fuck. I, I've been at like Harrisburg with Dan already, and people are like, Where are you from? And I'm like, Oh, Shenandoah. They're like, Oh, force it to the bar. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, exactly. Exactly. Like, exactly. That's what exactly. Like, like, <laughs> when you Google it, I think that's the first thing that pops up. Yeah, of course. It's I've had conversations. I've had conversations with people. I've been fortunate enough to travel throughout the state of Pennsylvania and, and beyond. And and I, I, I walk in, I'll walk into a place and, and I say, Where are you from? I'll say, I'm, you know, I'm, from Schuylkill County. We always say Pottsville. And, and they say, really? I'm yeah. there. I'm there. Yeah, well, more specifically, Shenandoah. Shenandoah I grew up in yeah. Shenandoah. And they say, you don't yeah. talk like you grew up in Shenandoah. <laughs> Shenandoah. Yeah. 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 Listen, yeah, so regardless, I, I, I support Monte City to the day I die. That's where I was born and raised. But I am originally a Shenandoah, a Shenandoah, a Shenandoah kid. That's just, <laughs> this is how it works. Yeah, that's crazy. But, yeah, and my dad's like, born from Shenandoah, and Shenandoah like, too. So it's just like... Oh man, like uh, when like when people say like like all right, so we'll break down school mm-hmm. county. They'll see like for me, it depends on what side of the mountain you're asking. So this may yeah. be this may be different depending on where you're from. Yeah. But if you ask the people from one side of the mountain about like Pottsville, Minersville, Schuylkill Haven, they're like, oh, Beverly Hills. Yeah. Like <laughs> I'm not being dead serious. Like the North Schuylkill area. Oh, that's a that's a really nice school. Yeah. You, yeah. Got, you got north of the mountain, south of the mountain. Yeah. And then yeah, you're like, yeah. where you're from? Interstate Monty's, 81 divides it. Yeah. Where are you from? Monty City, Shenandoah. Oh, that kid's gonna fight. <laughs> yeah. Like the only other town that falls into the Monty City Shenandoah <laughs> crew is Gerardville. Like yeah. if Gerardville. you want to talk about like the three areas that are rough. Yeah. That if you go there, you're looking for trouble. Yeah. Shenandoah, Montessori, Shenandoah, Gerardville. That's yeah. it. I yeah. agree. They ain't even call a gun town then. Too. Yeah. yeah, you don't. Gerardville. You don't yeah, go to those can, towns yeah. and act silly. That's all there was to it. Yeah. And I remember oh, growing up man. when I was a kid. You were like, they were like, well, if you go to Monte City, don't tell me you're from Shenandoah because you got beat up. Not only that, but, but when I was growing up, <laughs> you had, and it wasn't so much when I was growing up. It was before you know I was around. <clears throat> But you had sections of Shenandoah where you didn't walk into the, the, the bloody right. first. Yeah. There's a reason they called it the bloody first. Yeah. If you didn't live in the bloody first and you yeah. went there, you yeah. get home bloody. Yeah. Because they beat the shit yeah. out of you. Yeah. <laughs> and even when I went there, there was the jock corner and the head corner. Yeah. And you either belong to one or the other. There yeah. was no in between. I so I like, it it relaxed a little bit. When I, I was made it to the jaw corner. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and if you had a car, you did the loop. The loop. You did the loop. The, 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 the loop. loop. Yeah. Did the loop all night long. Yeah. yeah. The loop. The loop. Acme and then down to Acme, Acme. He's definitely from Shedlow. Acme. Acme. There's no uh Acme. in Acme. 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 Um, Acme. Um, oh, I'm loving this. Wow. Yeah. The the, the, the Mike can do is laughing his ass off. He is. He's oh, an yeah. he amazing there conversation. Is. Yeah. He said amazing conversation. I remember those days. I feel like the loop died off with my generation because my generation is when they really started to crack down and like the cop would sit there and make sure you didn't do a UE. Yeah. Um, so, you were allowed two passes and then you got burned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you'd go to Turkey Hill and you'd hang out for 15, 20 minutes and then you'd pack the car and go back. <laughs> yeah. They were like, you get two passes. No, I didn't. I was hanging out. Yeah. It's that's a that's a great thing, and hopefully, you know, Potts. I know I say it every other show. Pottsville is doing an amazing thing when it's coming to revitalizing their community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shenandoah, Shenandoah is not far behind. No, no they're, they're not. not. Yeah. They're not. They're, they they really need it. They're time. doing. They've got some listen, plans, and they, they do got some plans, and I hope, I really hope they come to fruition. Yeah, um, Shenandoah needs a fleshy plan. But here's the thing. I'm sorry. A it lot really of people, and this is blush, and this is right? something that I'm going to bring up real quick because it's it's a hot topic issue. But like Shenandoah gets very criticized because outside people come in and, and they say they ruin the area. But there's a lot of we'll say air quotes outside people who come in and they were the first person people like especially like the Spanish people, the church people that came in and they cleaned up Gerard Park. They cleaned up the, the town. They're very pr- the Heritage Day is a beautiful thing where it brings right. everyone yeah. together. Absolutely. If you if you want to talk about heritage, Shenandoah, all these Shenandoah, Monte City, a lot of these towns were split up. The Irish section, the Irish, the Polish section, the Italian section, Ukrainian, so the Ukrainian yeah. section. Now it's they're, now Shenandoah is not so much divided, but they they acknowledge their heritage. And that's the thing, like where I live, Coal Street, Coal Street back in the day when that I know that was the Italian was section, all the Italian, all hundred percent, one hundred percent. You were Italian. You either lived there, or you did, like you didn't fit in. Like that's just the way it was. Mm-hmm. Like even if, and it's crazy because when my wife moved here from Lancaster, you know, twenty some years ago, I took her to the cemetery. Is it the next cat can right? And then like, oh, right. I took her to the cemetery, it's and Catholic. she was like, "Why is it like it's Catholic, it's Lutheran, it's Protestant, and it's, it's, it's the oh, Jewish had their own?" But when you looked at the headstones, it was all. Polish, Lithuanian, yep. Slovak, and then you had your Italian and your Irish. Like everybody was segregated. And yep. She was like, "Why?" I was like, "Because you didn't marry outside of your outside you know, of your religious dom- yeah, denomination." Yeah. Domination. Yeah. That's it was. It's crazy because like you, you look at people who are from the big cities like Philadelphia, New York, and, and there's a Chinatown, and it kind of yeah. divides. So imagine you have thousands and thousands and thousands of people, and you segregate them because of the, what they believe or what they think they are. Are 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 their heritage? Mm-hmm. We did that in a community of less than less than less, like a small community. You know what I mean? Like so, it's and, and it's 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 doing a lot better when it comes to you know bringing everyone together and doing the right thing and, and people coming together, which is a beautiful beautiful thing. So hopefully, I like that there's ethnic food. Yeah, like, like, I love. Sh- all right, so you want to talk? Just open a new restaurant on the corner of my mom's house, like that corner. Yeah, yeah. Like, American so cuisine. Spanish American cuisine on, the, on right by Jarden Street, Jordan by the Lyric, right across from the Lyric. Right yeah. right yeah. right like yeah, it used to be a grocery store. Now it's a restaurant. You want to get amazing Mexican food in Shenandoah? If you at the, at the red light, depending on what way you're coming, um, you can't miss it. It's it's the Molly Molly or something like that. But you make the right at the. So if you're coming from Frackville, if you're coming from Frackville, it's on the right. If you're coming from Monte City, it's going to be on your left. And if you're coming from Shenandoah Heights, from the Hadelson area, from back way, the back way, from 54, it's going to be you're going to make another left at the, at the four. Yeah, right at the main section, it's right, going to be it's right, going to be right there. there. Fantastic Mexican American Mexican. Amazing food. family. I help coach yeah. all their kids in soccer. They're a good group of people. Great they make people. amazing food. They go to the Bloomsburg Fair every year. Every Wednesday, you can catch her at Hometown Auction. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah, Hometown Auction every Wednesday. Good luck. Get in early because you won't get a seat. I'll guarantee it because the place is packed. They make amazing, Hunter. amazing food, and I'm very, very picky eater. That All gets right. me a free meal, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's here's oh, where back to the beer. Here's where I fall apart. Now yeah, we're like it. twelve beers in, right? No, now I just is, these next three are gonna be rough for me. This is I'll let you pour it away. We got it, Josh. Ben, this give is, us a rundown because okay, okay, Hudson Valley. Hey, Anthony. Hey, John, Anthony. 
Eight uh, percent. Hudson Valley. Eight percent. We'll put 8%, that out there. Uh, Graven Image. It's the ja- It's jasmine green tea and lime puree sour IPA. Mm-hmm. Green tea is healthy for you. That's all I need to know. Can Bas- I get some Tums, please? Basically, what you're really <laughs> looking at here, since we let it set room temperature, you're going to taste a lot of the flavors into that. It didn't even hit my tongue, and I knew it was coming. I'm afraid to drink it. So. Smells good. It smells delicious. Wait oh, man. Your, wait aromatic. Your, aromatic. Wait till it hits your tongue. And, you get that, that, and you get that sour. How's that for a shit word? Well, aromatic. When it hits your lips. Wow. As it slides on the glass, you already taste no, I For me, I that. taste the you're, sour. You're, you're you're really, every time I get it, to almost go in my mouth. You taste wow. Oh, my dad's a sour fan. No. Well. No. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but yes. It's it's not. Great aftertaste. All right. Here we go. It's Here's, not. It's not sour candy sour. Some of them are. Wait, this one's not sour candy sour. <laughs> but there's de- there's a definite long lasting aftertaste in this. All right, here's what I will say mm-hmm. with Hudson Valley. The sour hits you, and you're like, nope. If you're not a sour fan, it will be like, nope. And then you, it, it the aftertaste, it dissipates. It dissipates. The, the taste hits your mouth, and you're like, that's tasty. Yeah. They had one. We had one last show. Where it was an apple pie one, and it literally is that the, the jazz is that the jasmine that I'm yeah I've never tasted yeah yeah that's Probably, a jasmine hanging yeah. out that's a jasmine that's and the jasmine ginger hanging, hanging out. out yep yeah um, the green tea yeah the green tea yep so when you do a sour it's it hits you and it's like it hits you like a punch right it's like and a then baby. and then it <laughs> dissipates and then you're like oh that's the flavor I was looking for mm. if, if Hudson, now this is just me because I'm not a sour fan. The people who like sours are probably like, shut the hell up, Tony. You're going to ruin good beer. Um, <clears throat> if they can just get rid of the sour and give me that initial taste, I'm, I'm on board. I, I tell you what. It's not so much sour as it is tart. That's the word. I'm, I, yeah. And I, I'm, using, I'm using untapped phone app yeah. to log my uh, log the You're beers. Yeah. Yeah. And, and tart. I would say it's more tart than sour. Okay, that's, that's fair. Um, now, how, what was I going to say? So I think what ruined me for sour beers is we went to a friend of ours who was supposed to be on today's show, and we will definitely get him on. Um, he's a he's a Schuylkill County legend, especially when it comes to drinking. Um, Scob. Yep, Robert Savinsky. Yep. Robert Savinsky. <laughs> you better bring Scob. more beer. <laughs> Let's get on pace. So yeah, so we we did in his in his yard. We did a, a it was literally a, it's on my Instagram. We literally did a beer gauntlet. It was a, that was our very first. That was beer gauntlet. Twenty some beers. Oh my! No, God. we had about like. 15 of them. Yeah, we were we in the double. We made a pyramid of cans. There was a pyramid was of cans. A, no, it was a wall, a wall of cans. A wall of cans. And out of those, the he, this scumbag, Ben, he brought out of those 15 beers, <laughs> nine of them were sours. <laughs> and he hates them in the worst way. Possible. Nine of them were sour. So it was like sour, 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 IPA, sour, sour, sour. And I just, and I drank all of it. I was hammered, but you I was did. just like, oh my god, if I drink one more goddamn sour. <laughs> yeah, we're we're honestly, I know that I know that Tony doesn't like sours. I try and like limit your sour intake in the best. The way last possible. show we did what three? We did three. Oh fuck but that. but like there's there was two of them, but like the third one you're like, that wasn't really sour. It closes my eye every time. I can't even make a straight face when I do it. I can't even be like OG about it. Hey, whatever, man. It, if you're not into it, you're not into it. Like no, the I aftertaste, the after like, I'm being honest. I don't like the initial tart sour, but mm-hmm. the aftertaste is delicious. Mm-hmm. And that's how they usually are. Like like the one we had, the apple one in the last show. Mm-hmm. The sour hits you. You're like, oh, and then you let it sit. You're, it, it it's the closest thing to cold boil you'll ever have. Yeah, that legitimately was. And I would never compare it to boil. No, the apple one we had. Oh, apple. yeah, apple. the apple. Yeah, one. it was like <laughs> the apple boil. It was like apple don't apple cider donut. Yeah. Mm. So like you're looking at that, but they actually make they actually made some like IPAs. Like they actually make a pilsner then too, just for people if they didn't like like your sours, like just yeah. to, just to cater to them, but. I never had it before, but I would love to have it just to be co- just because to see yeah. how they would do it. All right, I'm gonna do this last little. You could do. You could do it, Tony. Oh, Dan, you better catch up, brother. No way. You listen. I chug it. I'm, I'm. My belly is saying on me. Fuck 
you. Don't do that. That's what I'm saying. Well, Ben, you got to help him out because there's no way I'm helping you out. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you. before before I help him out, I have to uh, drain the lizard, as they say. Uh, You're going to go pee? I have to go. Oh, I'm going to be like, like little girl. we got two more beers to go. <sighs> you can't dump it out. For the record, I'm not cleaning up pee or puke. No. <laughs> well, but so, I really got I really got to pee, though. Can I have a bucket? Uh, hi, ben, you gotta make it quick. We're we're pressing time. Oh, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna be quick. Right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right. Don't worry. I'll be right. Dump it the wood. Ugh, right. You do it. you do it. you do a big boy mouth and I'll do a big one. Two people are not offensive. I'm done. Like fuck, I drank it like an adult. I'm not really an adult. Sorry, everyone for the dog barking. In here. Oh, mute two mics. All right, ready. Can I just pour on the floor? <laughs> I'm just saying the dog pissed on the floor. <laughs> I'd be like, lady. Because oh. we know Tony did that before. Yeah. I apologize to Hudson Valley. Um, it just this this side of the table is not doesn't have the palate for sour beers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> did you do it? Nailed it. <laughs> You want to do a quick, quick, quick rinse? <laughs> yeah, a glass of water, please. <laughs> You're not getting water. Get out of here. <laughs> One last rinse, and then we'll do the last two porters, and then we're calling it a show. And then I got to get ready for WrestleMania uh, for Royal Rumble. Oh my God, I'm ready. While for bed. Oh, while while we're no, waiting here for Ben to pee because he's a 12 year old, um, and our glasses to be rinsed. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. While you're here, um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Um, check out the other videos. I do. We do um, interviews with everyday people. We do. We sit down and talk to people, whether it be they. Everyone has a story. You know, everyone's gone through things. Everyone has funny stories. Uh, stories of come up. Stories of you know anxiety, depression, recovery, anything. Um, check out those stories. Amazing things there. Really good stuff coming. Go like our Facebook page. is in the description. Click those and give us give us some likes on that and stay tuned for other episodes coming up. February has like a, a has a really good lineup. Yeah. Um, we start off February with Samantha Kelly, a girl from uh, a girl from Saint Clair. She struggles with uh, agoraphobia. She's a hard time leaving her house. She only has her places where she's really comfortable. She's into the local music scene. Yeah. She's a really really cool girl. We're gonna sit down with her. I don't know anything about her, so that interview I'm literally meeting a brand new person and talking to them, which is I'm excited for. I like meeting people that I, I don't know personally know. <laughs> Um, episode two will be um, a girl named Megan. Her name is Meg D. You'll see her uh, once again um, got caught up in the in the normal struggles that happen with school county kids. You know, sometimes people get caught up and they go one way or the other. And she went that path that unfortunately happens to a lot of people in our area. She's she's now recovering from it. She's going through it. She's trying to change her life around. Amazing story. We're looking forward to her. Once again, I know her personally, but I don't know her story. So we're going to learn a lot about that. And then we have a, a Shenandoah kid, um, Brian Finneran. He's going to come down and sit with us. He, his, him and his family went through a traumatic event recently. He's willing to come on and talk about it and kind of shed some closure and some some advice that he can give to other people. And then, we'll, you know, it's not all going to be about that. We're going to make it a little lighthearted to talk about some sports, MMA, make fun of Josh when he's in studio. It's going to be a good time. Josh is from, the, <laughs> Josh is from our 10-8 round show. Um, but amazing interviews coming up. That's that's our main focus here is the interviews. Check out those stories. We just did one with Michael Ban, a photographer from Pottsville. He has a studio in Frackville. He, yeah, he does a lot of pinup when it comes to you know, you know pinup artists. That World War II pinup tattoo. It's really really cool. Check that interview out and many many more. Check out the one with Dan and check out the one with my dad. Um, <clears throat> we talk about with with Dan. We talk about him and his buddy and how they have that business going on and, and an experience that he had on that show alone and, and and surviving in the woods and 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 what it takes. And you can check all that out. My yeah. father was about you know growing up with as a child and a, and, a, and a man as someone who donates their time and, and effort into a volunteer firefighter services. Um, and and the the effect it can have in a fi- family and also the what what the deeper dive of what happens inside those things um you know people people think you know when they see a fire and they see a fire truck roll down, roll down the street especially in the school county area that's a that's a truck full of people that dedicated their time that are walking away from their family in the middle of the night at three o'clock in the morning to save yours and they're not getting paid a dime to do it 
Um, so check out that interview as well. Um, while we're back, Ben, you want to crack out that next beer and get us ready? But check yes. out check out interviews right. with everyday people on Facebook, and then obviously that'll link you to other shows. If you're into mixed martial arts, we do a show. If you're into pro wrestling, we do a show. If you're into pop culture, when it comes to TV, music, movies, video games, we have a show for that. Obviously, you're here at Bangin' Beers. This is going to be Bangin' Beers episode number two. Uh, we have a lot of cool content here. It's, 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 it spreads across the spectrum. Check us out. We're doing a lot. We're trying to we're trying to bring some entertainment to the area. Oh, definitely. If you so, want to see my interview, you might need therapy afterwards. <laughs> his wasn't that his was not that bad no i'm saying no, you I might want to do a new episode oh you want to do you want to do a solo one yeah I'm, I'm with it and anyone who's if you know anyone that has that story or you yourself are sitting there saying well i've been through some things i'd like to talk about it please let's do it let's i'm, I'm open to any any type of scenarios any type of thing let's ben i'm so happy you only gave me a little bit you're such a sweetheart Oh, you made me drink a half a glass of sour, and you won't even take a sip of my stout. Thank you so much, Mike. There's a lot of cool things. I honestly, He's Mike, cut off real, real quick. And Mike, Mike, from Mike beer. would be an excellent I'm, interview. Yes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mute two people. Oh, real quick. you mute me. I'm muting Mike and Ben, uh, Dan and Ben, real quick. Bullshit. Yeah, you can just say all you want. You're muted. Ah. Um, Mike, I I would love to have you come in and sit down and talk. You have an amazing story, amazing viewpoints. Um, you bring the other side of the spectrum with today's current events. That would be interesting. And uh, not only that is a story that I would pull out. That just me personally, because I know you. It would be really cool to hear the story about when you, as a young as a young man, you broke a state record. And then watching your son break that state record. So it'd be really cool to have your insight on that story. It doesn't have to be your whole life, but that that just that segment would be really, really cool. I think it'd be awesome for people to hear about. And I could have you and Junior come in and sit down and tell that story. That would be amazing for me. So all right, well, let me unmute my, Dan and, and Ben real quick. He's not muted. He's just having fun. <laughs> right. So where are we at, Ben? Okay, we are at the motherfucker of a stout. This is the Stripes Neapolitan Imperial Beer makes stout. people curse. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. So this is a Neapolitan. Um, it's a little bit of everything. There's supposed to be some strawberry, some chocolate, some vanilla. Indeed. It looks and like tar to me because it's a dark, dark porter. Yes. Dark and this stout. Is, yeah. And this is by a brewery called Aslan in Herndon, Virginia. A Virginia um, beer. These guys, they Virgin, really I kill it them. with It the, smells like coffee right away. Yeah. They really kill it with the actual stout game because not only are their stouts decadent, but also at the same time, they're about 15%. So you might have one can to knock yourself on your ass for the whole entire time. What are we day. looking at here, percent-wise? 15%. This is a oh, 15%... Yeah. Call Uber. Yeah. Ah. If anyone wants to give Dan a ride home, that'd be amazing. Yeah, that'd be great. We'd like to have him on the show to, again sometime. Yeah. I'm I don't. Gonna, I don't want to phone in from prison when we yeah. interview Dan. <laughs> we got. We got one. <laughs> oh. be a, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get a lot with me, I'll be a five P. Get me a counseling. Thank you very much. Well, well you guys, if you guys don't want any more of that, that's fine. <laughs> He's like, oh, like, oh, oh, you can. liked it. Oh, oh, you liked it. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, let me let me dive. Oh, Mike, one hundred percent. Yeah. So, Mike, I'm looking at. I, I need some people for March, so we can get you in for the March interview. You and Junior to come in and talk, and and anything else you want to talk about. Um, I know I don't want to put all your bu any business out there, but anything you anything else you want to talk about. The main objective of our interview show is sometimes you have to make yourself a little vulnerable but your story or as a family going through some certain things or any stories can someone else can listen to that and it can help them grow as a person that's our main objective but any but i'm, I'm about bringing any story to light you know what i mean just, i'm just i just pulled one out of my uh, pulled one out of the hat because i know your family very well i think that'd be a cool story just how you and your, your son accomplished such an amazing thing in our small area but i'm open to anything so definitely definitely spread the word and uh we'll sit down for march and we'll figure something out Take a picture of Molly Ringwald. Yeah. Right. So right, yeah. <laughs> so right, so so right in front of Dan is the Molly, the the Molly Ringwald from the Breakfast Club. I have Brian, and then up underneath my board is um the uh is the is the crim is the the basket case. Yeah. In front of Ben is the criminal, yeah. and then in front of my dad up there is the jock. So that's pretty cool. He loves Molly Ringwald, I guess. All right, I'm gonna drink this. Yeah, pretty mouth. There it is. Jesus. 
Jesus. <laughs> That's a G says. This is the best one of all. I don't fuck what anybody says. You can kick me off the show <laughs> forever. This is the bomb. Right all right. Here. So my opinion, I'll go. I'll start first on this one. We don't uh, want to hear your opinion on it. It's, <laughs> not, 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 not. it's chocolate, vanilla, <laughs> strawberry. I immediately, anytime I sip a porter or a dark beer, it immediately goes right to coffee for me. No, I get a coffee not, taste. Not even close. I get it. This is like biting into a strawberry chocolate candy bar. I, I don't. I don't know how you're getting. This. To me, I'm. I'm literally. T I'm chewing because coffee. I drink. I drink. Like you can suck on your IPAs all you want. When it comes to this, and it's no, like yeah, there's like no. Coffee is when coffee. When that when that dark tar runs down my glass and hits my mm. lips, it's like I'm chewing coffee grounds. No. It's like chewing on a piece of dark chocolate. No, I wish. Mm. All right. You give your review. Oh, actually, skip you. You did your review. I'm doing another one. All right. This good. is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> what is the fuck? So this has cursing in it. Just putting that out there. Yeah. Ben, go for it. Oh, I, I had a, I had a can of this before. I actually had two cans of this. I wanted to see how this would age. This is an aged can, by the way. So I hate all of you. <laughs> Suck it up, princess. You maybe drink that other crap. Oh, I will drink sours all day long. Oh, fuck you. Oh, my God. You know what? That's a challenge for you, Tony. I'm gonna get all. Yo, if we had a, I'm telling you right, right now, if we did a whole lineup of porters, I'm out. I'm not doing that episode. <laughs> Me and your dad are going with a whole case of this, right to leave at the Beavers. Wow. Oh, I'll go. To, <laughs> I'll go to Beavers, wow. but I'm not drinking that beer. Wow. I'll go to Beavers. And it, you, you say the Beavers. Tragic, oh, <laughs> the only tragic end of that is I'm leaving broke and hammered on this. Stuff. <laughs> That's this a 15 percent alcohol. That will ruin That's, your day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we Aslan, can't your dad to drink the beavers. He won't. He not going to lie, Aslan, Aslan Stouts, they've always been consistent. Thank you so much. There's... Real quick, sorry. Thank you so much, Mike, for tuning in. I love you guys so much. Love your family. Um, definitely get in contact with me. I'd love to do that interview. Um, Let's put that. Yeah, you go, go ahead. right ahead. You go we're right at our last ahead. beer here, and then we're going to right wrap up. I'm, hey, Dave. Dave. Dan, Dan, Dan. Yeah, Dave. Hey, hey, my name's Dave. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> save, save it for the Moohoo. Yeah, the Moohoo. Moohoo. You know I what? have a feeling Moohoo is going to... No. Gonna... Oh, no. Sorry, I like the Moohoo, but this right here is like decadence in your pants. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are drinking it. Oh, I, it's just... Fuck, yeah. It's I was really like, good. Can I squeeze the can? If you want no. to. No. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> he wants to keep the label. <laughs> That label's not making the table. Fucking there, right, right there. Right. <laughs> that label's not making the oh. table. Right or off the cuff. I'm, I'm going to let that simmer there. So when we were putting the sticker on the table, right in front of me, I'm just going to put this out there for a fun <laughs> fact. Right in front of me, Ben decided. Is that barrel aged? No. No, that's, no? No, that's just imperial. That's that not might really be a little straight off. That might be a little cross contempt connect. Contamination. No, we washed the glasses. No. But that's very no, smooth. You, you um, definitely like chocolatey. Dick. Definite chocolate uh, tones to it. How do you get chocolate vanilla out of that? Oh my god, there's no vanilla. I don't taste the vanilla. No, I'm I'm not picking up the vanilla. But strawberry I'm and that chocolate. I don't get any chocolate. I get all slight coffee strawberry. Taste. Definite chocolate. Yeah. De smooth, smooth, creamy. See, I I don't care you... what the percentage that is. I would drink that all day. Yeah. All day. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, see, I'm when you add the ingre ingredients. certain ingredients into it, it actually can add even to the smoothness of the beer in general, whether it be porter stout. Real quick, none of you none of you are pregnant, right? Not anymore. Right, cool. <laughs> I might look at this. I don't know about you, Tony. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna watch this on YouTube and I'll be like, where am I at? I'm not even on the fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But seriously Heidi, though. It's like Heidi, this. <laughs> Boom. Dan is insane right now. Dan, Dan went downhill after the. Yeah, yeah after broke. the sour. After the first strokes, Dan started going downhill. <laughs> Just to put this out there, I may be I may be messing up on words, but I'm not even buzzed right now. I'm just putting that out there. I'm I haven't had a that? beer. Just real quick, I, I'm Look on. Look at my face. 
I am. He smoked. He smoked. Uh, I haven't had a beer. How long have I gone honey? Without like a. Oh, that's right. You went alcohol free. Uh, since the last one. Since, yeah, since the last show, I haven't had a draw. I, I mean, I've had no, a taste here and there, but I never had like a drinking night. Like I cut soda, alcohol the whole night. And, like I'm trying to eat better and do better things. Um, so this is You're stop it, trying. stop it, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen overnight, all right. Um, you have to tell that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this guy used to be. He used to walk at the movie theater steps, <laughs> wheezing. Yeah. Well, anyway, Cro- CrossFit and, and um, lots of chicken with rice and living in the woods Wait, and who eating in the woods eating tur- even eating raccoons every day. Hey, I'll Stringy eat a coon meat. every day. Stringy yeah, meat. and that. Yeah, and relax, oh, calm yeah. down, Dan. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Muhu, here we go. Muhu. What the hell? I, I didn't, didn't even finish. finish. I didn't even finish playing. No, do you do Can not. We a separate glass because I want to savor this. Oh, <laughs> do... No, no, that is no, I Dad. You are absolutely right. This is a beard actually savor. Used and Seriously. savor it. I'm glad. Did Mister IPA it. just say he's gonna savor a stout beer? No, not me. He likes I all beers. Know. I like I like everything. I t- I try and get a hodgepodge of different stuff. Is that word? He said hodgepodge, like he's like fucking Harry oh. Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just come on the show and never? This you? is the last episode for you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. I love you, people. Oh, that's nice. Hey, that's on you. Oh, fucking mess. <laughs> Uh, hey, for, you know, my day turned out. I was on the couch. The I was supposed to go to the gym. Yeah, well, he's on his own because we're going to Hazel. We're going to Pottsville after this. Hazel Pottsville. Hazel what Pottsville. Is that? Is that like a big circle? Yeah, it just you just take eighty one a couple times. All right, I've been there. Hazel Pottsville puts you in downtown Macadoo. 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 You don't go to Macadoo. You go to Macadoo. <laughs> <laughs> you are Muhu Macadoo. Yuhu Macadoo. You are fucking ruined that. I am. Oh, fucking mess. Each show, someone's going to fall apart. That You're that guy this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I was that guy and, last episode. And you're never going to see me on a fucking surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But for real, You Aslan, got another one of these hoarding somewhere? No, they, there's actually one that I have. It's called 30,000 HP by the same no, brewing company. No, I want this one. Uh, it's by the same brewing company. Yeah, it's a, a pistachio one. Yeah. Pistachio style. Striper? Ooh. That that was a cool hey, Christian oh, band. Oh, that's that's really cool. Cool. They make ridiculous Did you say stuff. something like a cool Christian a band? Yeah. Do you remember Striper? Stout. They no. just make like, oh all these wacky God. stouts. Look them up. And that's, oh, that's the actual... Dad. Percentage-wise, they, now like with the fruit, with the fruit cool that they Christian do too, music? they did a whole line of like, like, like maybe seven or eight lines. I've never heard of them. Stouts. I don't. I don't, don't remember that. Like like <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but that's like something that you have on a good day. Yeah. 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 And it's like, <laughs> Jesus, well, you're wrong. That's not even you. That's cut it. That's the one. for a while. I'm in show again. I don't even think I'm in the house. All right, where are ben, we at? Are we, you guys going to drink it? No, you... don't, drink, don't drink my stripes. Come on, lad. What are you talking about? Glass. My glass is empty. Here, I'll give, you a little, I'll, give you, I'll give you a little bit more of mine. Here, I'll give you a little bit of mine. In the mood? I think somebody roofied my drink. Look, there's shit in the bottle. I'm really sorry, everyone, for this. So this is I dance muted. He can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actual like residue from like... Oh, look, he has a full glass. I'm just like... I poured the Muhu. I'm oh, oh, all right, Muhu. Yeah, let me like just get. Let me. Let me. Let me board that train and get out of the station. All right. All right are you, are you gonna out. behave? Are you gonna behave? I can put you back on. <laughs> oh, you been cutting me? I cut you. He's been cut. You. Oh my god. He's been bleeding through everybody else's mic. Right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> he needs. See, he needs his own little cubicle. He's a terrible hemorrhage in this podcast. <laughs> That's usually what happens. I think that's why Dad doesn't have me on camera anymore. But I'm yeah. loving it, though. This, this, this is the spice so, of life so, right here. So I watched, I watched an episode of Colt Cracker Bushcraft called Beers. Colt Beer, Cracker? Colt Cracker, I said. No, I don't think he did. I 100% did. Can we rewind that? <laughs> Colt, Colt oh, okay. Cracker Bushcraft. What, what's it called? Colt Cracker, Colt Bushcraft, Cracker Bushcraft. Bush and Beers. Dot com. 
uh, Bushcraft and Beer. Bushcraft and Beer. So they did an episode of Bushcraft and Beer, and I was like, why doesn't Dan have a mic on him? I learned today. <laughs> right quick and then today. I, <laughs> I learned today. Like, so Dan, I, I learned why you don't mic him up when you put alcohol in the system. Even when I was in the band, they cut my mic. They didn't <laughs> want to hear me talking. Well, no wonder. No, the heck? Not that I could sing at all <laughs> or play an instrument. I was just there for a walk. Dan used to have hair down on his chest. Like, like it, was, it was not like this chest. Like Anyway, Moohoo, everyone. Moohoo. <laughs> this is supposed to be chocolate, right? This is chocolate supposed to be stout. a milk stout. Yeah, so. After about this beer, I really lost train of thought. I, I'm aware. I was there for the whole thing. I think, I think I'm going to take a nap before our Uber comes and picks me up. <laughs> All right, so that doesn't have as much coffee taste to me. Yeah. We're going to wean you off that. We're as gonna much. Get you, we're going to get you through much. that coffee shit. We're going to get After you off this, of that. I welcome to try. but it's, I'm sorry I'm disappointed with the cowbell. That can so that, that can has a turtle in a, in a cow costume. <laughs> Where's that from? Okay. Can, can you hand me that can? Yeah, sure. Let's that's see. from, uh, I think that's from Georgia, I think, too. Everyone needs to rinse their glasses Terrapin, once they're finished. Terrapin Brewing Company. Because we have one more beer, I apologize. Terrapin. Yeah, Terrapin. Terrapin. Yeah. And you, well, when I got into Terrapin. And, and Terrapin is actually found in marijuana, believe it or not. Not that I would know this, but <laughs> I'm just saying. I heard it before somewhere. He heard a he, recent he, conversation. He, he read it on Facebook. Uh, it. Yeah, whatever you read on Facebook is true. It's true. So this, this oh my god! I'm so, glad, I'm so glad Heidi loves me so much because I would probably not be allowed back in the home. All right, so this is more cowbell on the top of the can. Um, Terrapin. Brewing Company, Athens, Georgia. This is a Georgia beer. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, there Georgia. was the first mistake. Georgia. You never been to Georgia? I might have been. I don't remember. <laughs> He's like, I hate Georgia. I've never been there. <laughs> what the fuck? You've been in Georgia, it's Dan. Like, <laughs> it's like their football team. Yeah, they're really good until they get to the playoffs. Yeah, it's kind of like the Redskins and the. Hey, now the you will, you can be drunk and say whatever you want, but you make fun of my Redskins. <laughs> you will get the boot, sir. And he just dumped beer on my lap. <laughs> You Why do no, I keep my, looking at this? I smell thing. like booze now. I smell like booze. No, I smell like booze. This show is <laughs> off the rip. Listen, every bake, every break in beer, bake, no, bag, bag and beers, and beers every bag and beers is just gonna go off the rails. I apologize. Yeah, this is a bad but that's time. A, that's a this fun was part a of bad it. time to stop drinking. This is the fun part of it. it. Anyone who's a wrestling fan, tune in tonight. WWE Network Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. It's yeah. gonna be a good time. I'm gonna be there. He's gonna be the number twenty nine. Mick Foley. I, don't know I think Mick Foley might, might make an interest. He's going to jump on a plane and get to Phoenix. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking plane's fueling up right now. It's Five hours. There's, a, there's, a, there's an airport in my backyard. <laughs> and we see, with WWE getting desperate for talent, Dan might be the man to fucking. They're definitely not I desperate. I might be the next Jeff, Jeff Hardy. You know. <laughs> the who? You're like the goatee Jeff Isn't Hardy. Jeff Hardy? You're like a goatee Jeff Hardy. You know how many people have mistaken <laughs> me before I had all this going on? Jeff Hardy, Bret Hart, and who is the other douchebag? Now, this is, Bre Hart, this is Bret Hart. This is Dan. I don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Let me take a look at that comparison. I'm going to post pictures of like, You oh, post all the pictures you want. You don't feel like any of them. Yeah, never. Damn. Damn. Little, little, Peter, all right, Dan. little water stains on there. <laughs> Don't worry about this. The water stains <laughs> underneath. That's all with age. Dan recently lost weight, so he's he's he put a tighter shirt on. He's flexing. Yeah. We'll get back to the beer. So, Muhu, for me, just my review. Fuck this um, part over here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, I eat yeah. fucking eighteen fucking egg whites every morning. Um, um, I don't eat that at all. I'm a pick, picky fucking eater. Yeah, I, I am. I'm dead yeah. serious. Ben, ben has all the it's Ben's work, and he's getting better. But Ben has all the the beach muscles. He works on his eye, his shoulders, biceps, all the show up. muscles, no fucking go muscles. Yeah, be on page. Okay, let's talk about your legs over there. Calm yeah, burb legs over here. Let him stand up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, actually, right. I'm actually working on my legs a lot more. Nobody will get past my waist. They'll be serious. like, comment. I'm dead serious. 
I'm gonna be like, like ATM Six Productions. Nights. Anyway, anyway, re- reset. We're at the button. We're at the button. So <laughs> Muhu, Muhu, out of Georgia. Um, for me, dark beer. I still taste coffee. I get that coffee taste. Next, Dan. Oh, Dan already gave his opinion. Next, Ben. <laughs> I, I think when when you go from Aslan Stripes to about, Terrapin, I, I feel like that when you go from <laughs> from Aslan Stripes, the Neapolitan Imperial style that we had, to Terrapin Muhu, it just like it just falls short from what it really it really should be. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not really knocking Terrapin for it because again they're like they're more like a shelf beer more than anything. So, I mean. Okay, Dan, how you doing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, oh, but anyhow, like a lot of the times when you get like some something like a chocolate milk stout in a can, it, it kind of like falls short. I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna try and knock the brewery. I get it. You're getting around all over the place. You want to get your, you want to get your place, get what you want to do and all, or get where you want to be, but. For me, I, I just think it's just like an average stout, milk stout. I agree. And I didn't – It's we probably should have saved the stripes oh, for look at that. after the Muhu. Yes. Um, because I think Muhu would have gotten a little bit better review mm-hmm. had it been before the stripes. Mm-hmm. That said, I yeah. smooth, <laughs> Time out definitely right. a chocolatey milk stout. Real quick, real quick. Hold on. Um, my mom just joined the conversation. <laughs> Hi, mom. Dan, you're muted. You just quit. Um, and she said, I thought you said five beers. Technically, I said six. We added two more. Relax, mom. You're seeing double. <laughs> He's muted. You can't hear what you, we're saying. You can mom, hear mom did not hear my comment an hour ago when I when you pulled out the other drinks on there. Mom warned me about this. Yeah, Mom I did. warned me about this. All right. So, all right. Here, here's my move. Here's my move. I think as it compares. This is never coming to another show. <laughs> she said you've been in Georgia in an afterlife. <laughs> That's a good one, Mom. That's a good one. All right. This is why I love this show. Off yeah. the rails. This Off is, the rails. This is great. I love it. <sighs> oh my no, god. No, when you can, when you can, I compare this to like the Lancaster Brewing Company milk stout. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. And it, it doesn't have the flavor. <laughs> it's lacking. It's lacking the flavor punch for me. Mm-hmm. It's that's, good. That's because you drank this first. And I think that's because we drank the stripes first. If we would have drank the Muhu first. It would have yeah. been okay, but when I compare it to say Lancaster or um, some other milk stouts that I've had, you're saying this the, the brewery does before has it together. It and, doesn't. No, no. What I'm saying is Muhu doesn't have the flavor kick that other milk stouts have. Yes. Okay. It's fair. But I think the percentage but has a lot to bad. do with that too. But it's not a bad beer. Don't don't do it do it like that. Like what we're trying to say is like what he's trying to say oh, with like the pre- drink that. presentation and everything else. See, you're cut again. You have you have you have your, you have your micro brew like, yeah. and this is more on a global scale when right. it comes to it. So like, if we would have had this first, then we would, I love like, that. I love where you're going with this. the stripes. Right, we would have been okay with this one, and then switch it over. Like, oh wow, this is like yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. We're what we're trying to do right now is try and get people to say like, okay, guys, banging Bruce. I want right, to relax, here. relax with the like, banging, banging Bruce. I want to try something to yeah. get myself into the whole craft. What would you recommend? So, be, so Ben, so what you're saying is maybe this because it's a Georgia beer and we have access to it I in Pennsylvania. Say that, yeah, hold on. Because it's a Georgia beer, and we have access to this beer in Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. that they may produce a little more, so it spreads out more. Mm-hmm. Where this beer from, where Virginia, Virginia, yeah. you kind of sought after to get. They make less quantity, so they can put more quality into the bottle. Right, exactly. exactly. And that's where, and, and and regardless of what Bud Light commercials you watch, where they make fun of craft beers, 
Um, when you have a brewery from a smaller area and they're making less quantity, which defines them as a craft brewery, they put more quality, quality. into the keg to make that beer a different because they can't afford to make it to spread out for more to, to globally stretch out. Absolutely. And that's I highly agree. On can, that. can we say memorable? Almost memorable. Yeah. And it's not a that's terrible. That sums it up. Muhu is not a terrible oh, now beer. You, now you put my mic back You're on. back on. All right, I'm so, back on. Because you made sense. <laughs> I did. <really? laughs> you made sense. Okay. okay I you made, made sense. sense. Now your mic's so, off. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, uh, cut me off again. All right, you're cut. <laughs> you're done. You're done. <laughs> And this is why we love. I love this show. All right. So if you, if you gentlemen want to get a quick rinse, we'll have pass them over to our lovely assistant Heidi, and she's oh, giving you a yeah. bitter chagrin. Make sure you tip her well because yeah, she tip Heidi, tip our, our glass washer. That's mine. Look at me. I look like a fucking mess. Right. Anyway, so because so that was our lineup. We have one special beer. I don't know if you see it peeking over my laptop here. Um, the last nope. beer of the night. It is Royal Rumble weekend. I'm a wrestling fan. Um, I don't know if he's still in the chat. He has a comment in a while. My buddy Dave Martin, that was in the chat earlier, he um, he told me he ordered some beer from California. You can only get it in California. It's aged. It's an aged bottle. Um, it is the El. I'm gonna El Segunda. El Segunda. El Segunda. Segunda. Brewing Company. And this is the Broken Skull IPA. So this is a beer that was made. For Stone Cold Steve Austin, yeah. So he's excited. Austin three sixteen. So, uh, um, so because it's it's a it's technically to us a wrestling beer. We're gonna end the show with a little I'll bit. Let of, you guys still up first. Yeah, know. give it. Don't let lush. Don't let me have it. Stone Cold said so. Yeah, he said Stone Cold said so. You probably got some backwash. But anyway, what did um, you say? Burp, backwash. I burped as I said it. Um, that was pretty impressive. This is an IPA. Yeah. This is an IPA. It has now when I first originally had it when it was fresh, it has an orange flavor to it. And it's very citrusy. Um, you had to ruin it. No, it's like a citrus beer. I know. You may get grapefruit out of it. I don't know. So this is aged a little bit. We had it a couple weeks ago on the podcast. It still tasted very, very good. I don't see Stone Cold doing an IPA. <laughs> Not, if you watch, <laughs> yeah, realistically, there's a Stone video. Stone Cold means Stone Cold hard. Like, you fucking do a stout. So, Stone Cold, let's, let's, Stone not, Cold, let's Stone not forget Cold, Stone, Stone Cold Steve would Austin, drink. You're watching he would right drink now, Steve Weiser's. He would, he would drink Mike's Miller mom. Light. <laughs> let's not yeah. forget Stone Cold used to drink Miller Light. He would drink Budweiser, and, Miller and, Light, any any domestic beer. Yeah. Well, I'm so. never watching you again, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Actually, and fun fact: produced it about eighteen thousand cans a minute. Re realistically, <laughs> here's a fun thing: Stone Cold is no longer drinking. We talked about this in the podcast. He oh, yeah. strictly switched to smoking I pot know. now. Really? Yes. We understand why. He doesn't drink beer anymore. Because he's drinking this. Shit. So this is for. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm, so, I'm ruining your show. This no, is, this is this is the off the rails shit that we want. Like, it's great. We have we have a half a bottle left, so um, well, you all right. We'll, finish, all you we'll finish the rest of this bottle off camera. But all for right, everyone, Will Rubble Weekend, Bang and Brews number two. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna tip glasses. Thank you again for the glasses made to us yeah. um, by William and I don't remember her Maddie. name. Um, Patty. Patty made these, but the other glasses. William and Patty Corson. Yeah, Thanks. they made my glass. The other glasses were made by someone else. I listen. I'm a couple beers deep. I apologize. Thank, um, thank you guys service. so much for tuning in. Actually, real quick, let's get a quick sip. Get You're gonna sip. give it a review. Yeah. We forgot the whole point of the review. I'll put you back on for the review. Oh, Go ahead, Dad. I, I like it. Go it's an IPA it. beer. You don't want my review. I'll, you know what? I'll start. Right. I'll start. Go ahead. Probably the hoppiest beer I've had today. Yeah. Yes. It's now that's hoppy. going up against the double and triple IPA. Yeah. This to me is hoppier than the others. Then, um, then, uh, but not overbearingly hoppy or on that bitter side that we talked right, about earlier. Absolutely. I must say though, having this fresh and then having this now, it lost a lot of its citrus flavor. To me, it's still mm -hmm. a good IPA, but it doesn't taste the same aged. Okay. I, well, I haven't, I haven't, I, I haven't, this is the first time trying it, but, um, Heidi, the hoppiness, the hoppiness, uh, 
We're making out a, of our own banging brew over there with Heidi. Hard, hard, hard. <laughs> Heidi's, getting, <laughs> Heidi's getting food ready for Royal Rumble. She is excited for the pay per view tonight. Yeah. Heidi, real quick, as we're have you not on mic, but who you who who's your who do you want to win the men's Royal Rumble tonight? Right here. Ru- she wants Rusev, Rusev to win. Ru- so Heidi's pick is Rusev, female Royal Rumble. Lana. She wanted me. Lana. She wants Lana. Lana. Who, or who? Naomi. Or Naomi. Let me tighten up my shirt. Hold on. You just relax. <laughs> you're, you're muted again. Anyway. I'm mute. Um, <laughs> who do you want to win? Brock Lesnar, Finn Balor. Who's this? Finn broken Balor. Sc- Finn Balor? Broken Skull? I highly yes, agree broken with Heidi. Skull. Who do you want to win? AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan. AJ Styles. I think AJ Styles. AJ Styles. Yeah, yeah, see? Who do you want to win between the bar and Shane McMahon and the Miz? The Miz she I loves the Miz. Miz. She's a, like Shane McMahon. She's a big fan of the of of of, of the Miz show. Um, who's your who's your who's your pick with um? What are the matches we got? Ronda versus um Sasha Banks. Ronda. Ronda. Rhonda, who's yeah. your who's your pick for between Oscar? Now, don't go against your Asian roots here. Versus yeah. Becky the Man Lynch. That's a tough one. That was kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're muted. That's why I'm muted. Come on. That's a hard one. I don't know. She doesn't know. She doesn't have a pick for Becky because she's a big Becky fan, but yeah, she's also an Oscar one. fan. So we're gonna, so real quick, Ben. What's your review on this beer? Okay, so El Segundo, like I said. Like you said, Tony, it is. I had a fresh, had it aged. I'd say it was better exactly. fresh. It's a better than fresh aged. beer. Oh, definitely, absolutely. Now, I always had the experience of having, uh, you know, having some things go wrong. Alchemist is well. Now I'm trying to think. You know what's funny? I didn't record any of this again on audio because I'm an uh, asshole. Oh, you're an asshole. You goof. Jerk, when it comes to this, I, I, I gotta get my shit together. So we're just shows. live. Yeah, we're just live. I have, yeah, to, I, not I, live. I, I have a program where I can I can pull it, but go, I'm right. sorry. Go ahead. But anyhow, um, there's a, there's a brewery called the out. Al- well, no, the thing is called. Don't the drag Alchemist. it too long. We're at almost two hours. Yeah. But at the same time, though, like you gotta have some IPAs fresh. That's definitely one you gotta have. Yes. Fresh. So if you can get it in the California area, or you can get it shipped here. Definitely get this fresh. Great beer. Broken look Skull the IPA. Date, look at the date and the box. Check the date. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in Breaking Beer Season 2. Dan, Dan, Dan give us a quick goodbye. Hey. That's it. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ben, Ben, you want to give us a bye? Hey, see you later, folks. Hey, thanks for enjoying the show, and I hope you pick up some of these great beers. Yes. Uh, Dad, you got anything? Thanks for inviting me. Do, and do you want to plug uh, any local business? Anything going on? Do I want to? Yeah, sure. Um, stay tuned for the next time. Um, whether here, I'm here or not, they'll have some uh, upstate New York beers to try and, awesome. and, and critique. Dan, you got the farm show coming up. What do you got going on? Farm show? You mean the All-American Great Outdoorman Show. Yep. Harrisburg, February 2nd to the 10th. Don't miss it. It's a great show for all you people who are in your outdoor shit. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dan. And uh, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. You're, you're, yeah, that was it. <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, that is Bangin' Beers Episode bangin 2. Beers. Bang, bang, I said Bangin' Beers Episode bangin 2. Bangin We're going to close out with a song by the same artist, Eskimo Jones. The song is called Crazy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And, uh, and we'll see you again soon. Why am I also tired? Yeah. I'm going to Florida. Where Where's there? your mom going? Fucking Florida. Cuff just say that. Yeah. Yeah. Off the wall, gang. See, I feel like the problem in relationships these days is don't nobody really want to be truthful, you know? Like, if you don't want to be cuffed, just say that. Yeah, me, I'll be honest, bro, because end of the day, a female gonna respect you if you tell the truth. Yeah. They might not like it, but they respect the game. Hey. You did. Hey. 
I ain't claiming shit if you can't drive me crazy Baby, I'm a boss, need a first lady Only one rule, shorty never play me Beside that, we cool, baby, go crazy Hop up on this, on this, shorty go crazy Then we gon' hit the strip, you can go crazy Everything snatched, shorty went crazy You know I get the strap, don't make me go crazy I ain't claiming shit if you can't drive me crazy Baby, I'm a boss, need a first lady only one rule, shorty never play Me beside that we cool, baby, go crazy When I'm 40 fans, I don't got time to catch no rides But I really do like your eyes, they remind me of mine Baby girl, what's your sign? I don't mind Up in the sky, girl, in the side, I won't lie Hope you don't mind if I get high I gotta stay fly and shine every night Hope you understand my life and why I don't want to why If you want me to pay your attention but you don't know the price I put you on suspension on cold as ice I don't got no type, I swipe right, yeah Black, yellow, white, I wanna bite, yeah I was on my grind, I was denied Now she wanna take a ride, I'm taking flight, yeah I ain't claiming shit can't drive me crazy, baby. I'm a boss, need a first lady. Only one rule, shorty never play me. Beside that, we cool, baby, go crazy.